What's up, team? Hello! Hello, hello, hello! How's everyone doing on this random fucking Tuesday? I was worried I was gonna have to cancel stream because Steam does their fucking maintenance every Tuesday and instead of like 15 minutes, it took 45 minutes. And I was like, oh, fuck. Hello, Foxy. Hello, Nick. Hello, Knock. EW. Hello. I know nothing about this game, by the way. They died? Who died? Hello, JD. Welcome to chat. Um, I opened the game and it was like, it. I, I selected my language and then it popped up this screen. And I was like, all right, I'm not clicking any more buttons because this seems like it's just going to start playing as soon as I click another button. So I stopped and this is where I'm at. But yeah, I've never watched a playthrough of this game. I know absolutely fucking nothing. Well, I do know one thing. I know there's multiple endings, but other than that one fact, I know nothing. You should be in for a treat. I have a feeling I'm going to get stuck a lot. <laughs> this seems like a big brain big brain game and I don't know if I have that today. Nice clickbait? Oh, are you talking about my uh my uh go live notification? It's been that way for a long time. No one has mentioned it. What is this game about? I don't know. We're going to find out together, honestly. So uh I've not played this before. Please adjust the slider until the computer is barely visible. I always put it a little bit higher. Please enter the current time? Like my current time? Uh, whoops. It's 6.07. Be dishonest? Why would I do that? Fuck the honesty? Also, <laughs> Bonnie, I'm sorry. You were too late with it. I was supposed to lie about my time? Why was I supposed to lie about the time? Also, Bonnie, I let you I let you have VIP cuz uh this <laughs> this stream is sponsored by Bonnie. Believe it or not. Play the game how you want. All right. Well, I'm going to tell my actual time. Fuck, that's loud. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh my god. Why are games so loud? This is the story of a man. Kind of quiet for us? This is This is the story of a man named Stan. How about that? In that area, this is that the good? the story of a man named Stan. I feel like you mostly need the narrator, right? We're gonna- we're gonna stick with that. Oh yes, it's game? Yeah, it's this game. And it's the Ultra Deluxe. I have no fucking idea what that means. Alright, we're going. Uh, the end is never? What? What does that mean? This is the story of a man named Stanley. Am I Stanley? Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. 427! Employee number 427's job. That's was almost simple. a funny number. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. That's basically what Orders I do. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. Jesus this Christ. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of Bro, every Bro, that's year. boring as shit. And although others might have considered it soul-rending, Stanley relished every moment that the what? orders came in. As though he had been made exactly for this job. Alright. Stanley was happy. Is Stanley a fucking robot? And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Okay. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. 
He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order It took an hour for him to realize? To no one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. I this want that job. isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself. Why is his desk so dirty? But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Oh, I'm moving. Oh, oh God, hold on. Or I fucking die. Oh, thank Christ. Jesus Christ. What? No, the sensitivity was way too high. I was doing like fucking 360s in here. All right, so this is my office. Bro, this is fucking depressing. Why did they want to know the time? All of his co-workers oh. were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, number one dad trace of his co-workers. Who farted? What are these mugs? I hate Mondays. Oh, not the voice changer. I gotta go to the meeting room? <gasps> I want Office 420! Can I have this? Why are the doors so big? Next, I you're not gonna get me to read that. I, I know exactly what you were trying to do, and I'm not reading that. <laughs> not happening. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he oh. entered the door on his left. Did I, though? I don't. I don't know my left or my right. not the correct way to the meeting room. Oh. <laughs> Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire oh, it. Oh, what's that? Father figure. <sighs> God, why are there so many mugs everywhere? Admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Got him, but I didn't say the word. Stanley took the first open door on his left. I don't want to listen to this dude. Stanley was so bad at following directions. It's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Next, I'm not that small brain. What is this? Oh, I don't like that. Can I get on this? Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I do I not trust you. Missing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you forgot jump? about. Jump? I don't want to jump. Stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. Who the fuck is her? This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. I feel like I missed part of the story. <laughs> is this a horror game now? No? Oh! Oh! <gasps> Jesus That's Christ! Her Stanley. That's her? You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If okay. you can truly place your faith in another... This got deep very phone. fucking fast. Oh? Hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pouring the bread out of the oven. Oh, right. Is this like our wife? Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. <gasps> oh, my God. Gotcha. Oh, come on. 
Did you actually think you had a loving wife? I did. They want to commit their life to you. Oh, I'm well, to fuck make a you. Family. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. Lamel, no wife. I, I don't like this. this is a very sad story <laughs> I'm in about danger. The day. I'm fucking scared. <laughs> Press Z on your keyboard. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. Oh, well, well fuck you. Demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential. We have a bald wife. His existence. Who doesn't wear clothes at home? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Am I? Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry Why for him. Why is the except fucking thing in front of the door? Press P? But in his mind, ah. In his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. I don't like this. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that I'm so afraid this mannequin's just about to fucking run at me. None of it would ever happen to him. I'll watch TV. And so he began to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, Everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought so I'm dreaming? Hello, A.A. Ron. To spend time with the boys? We're going to spend time with so the boys? He, went further. he imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. Press X to prepare dinner. As he wandered through, oh God, world, it's changing. He began to fill it. Hey, motherfuckers! Hours, it's me, your <laughs> president, God Joe Vibin, and I make my very long and painful journey down from Mount Rushmore to laugh at Marty the Sharty for being completely fucking maidenless. Holy shit! That hey motherfuckers fucking got me. <laughs> uh, yeah. So this is my normal voice. I do have like one redemption that changes my uh. It puts a voice filter on me. In case you absolutely hate my current voice. And down another was a game with a baby. With a baby. The Stanley Parable. The Stanley Parable. Press O to tell your kids a story. It was such a wonderful fantasy, and so in I remember head, when you had more. Bit, Next, I had more and for and again, one day. And again, over <laughs> it was and legit one, one day, and it didn't even remember, work. That he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. Press K to tell your wife you love her. Why would I ever do that? There That's is cringe. No answer. How could there possibly be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing oh. the same buttons he always has. It's turning back Nothing's into like my, my office. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real I was there before stream? What? Press you to go to sleep? And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. What if I don't do it? When you were testing the other voices? I do that sometimes. They're really fun. What if I actually don't press the button? Joe Sharton will come back? You die? Oh, I don't want to die. Okay. Can he just not hear me? Of course I can How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I I couldn't see? play a game and How listen to this guy talk for this long? It is going to be one of those games. Press O to question nothing. I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose. The same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, 
Maybe this time you'll see. Maybe this time. Maybe this time. And I tried again. Please die? And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. I'm gonna press. And I'm tried. gonna press. Oh, I didn't press a button. Did I die? I think I died. All right. All of his co-workers were gone. Oh, we literally just like started over. Hey! The end is never. The end is never. Thank you, PW, for the tier one. Nine months? Holy shit. That's enough time to develop a human. When Stanley came to a <laughs> set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. All right. We're going to listen this time. Yet there was not a single person. Tips for not there. getting fired? Talk Any less? Of disbelief. Do unbelievably Stanley amazing work to all the to his time every day? Office, hoping he might find oh. an answer there. Let it ball up inside of you. Take it out passive aggressively on other coworkers. Resent coworkers for not supporting you more. R6 servers are down so sad. They go down, I swear, every other day. I'm so glad I didn't plan to stream that game today. I would have been upsetty spaghetti. Uh, our sixth stream is going to be on Saturday. Yeah, Saturday. Slides, charts, charts, and, charts and slides. Jesus Christ. All right. Room closet. What made you want to become a VTuber? Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss. Well, office. I really like content creating. Uh, and I wanted to do it without having to show my face, believe it or not. Uh, and so I started Stanley watching manager's office, some VTubers, and I was like, to discover yeah, not that's what I want to do. Any human life. Shocked, There's a code? Unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What, what he could not fuck? have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth oh? that his boss had been keeping from him it's and so the boss six had nine six an nine extra secret pin number two eight oh. four five but two, of course eight, stanley couldn't four. possibly have known this yet incredibly by simply pushing uh -oh. random buttons on the keypad stanley happened to input the uh oh i'm scared code by sheer luck amazing he stepped into the newly opened passageway You guys sure this isn't a horror game? This looks like a fucking horror game. What is this? Oh, it's just a fucking hallway. Like 50% sure? You can't say that. Oh, I'm scared. The end is never 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 Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar it was a stirring of emotion in his chest as though he felt more free to think for himself to question the nature of his job why did he feel this the end when for years I don't know what the end is never means this question would not go unanswered for long Oh. Spooky. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door. This is an existential horror game. Facility. Ah, the scariest thing. Should I go into the mind control facility or escape? Written in crayon. Why does that seem scarier than than this way? Did I say? Rent a fence? Why would you rent a fence? Fuck it, we're gonna go in here. Big light bulb. The lights <gasps> were hey! an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Oh. Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Of course I do. What do you mean? Why are there just desks here? Now the monitors. Oh, fired! Nature revealed. 
Each bore the number of an employee Ooh. of the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals. Bro, I once worked at a place where screen, all my manager did was sit in the camera room and watch people. It was fucking weird. Freedom meant nothing. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions I'm not a fan of managers that micromanage. When I worked at the hotel that I worked no. at, he refused my to fucking manager he was such a micromanager. So I just got to the point where I just kind of let it go. And I was like, all right, I'm just going to let him do everything it then. And just get paid for basically impossible? standing here. Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with Mind emotions. control status Happy offline? Or sad. Or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. That says five over there. Is there a code that I need to do? Oh. One. Two. How do I get up to that one? Is this a puzzle? Three? Not really? <laughs> Not really, Mac. You're just, uh, a bit stupid. Also, I can't see what's happening over here. Can I open this? How did I push that button up there? How am I supposed to get up there? Like, this has a gate on it here. I can't jump. Just click stuff? Hmm. I'm gonna just click stuff. Oh! That's a big button. That big button does nothing. Am I actually clicking things? I feel like that accomplished nothing. Can you turn power on? I don't know, can I? I mean, I figured it'd be like this big button or something. And then there's like this control panel. I can't click anything there. Oh, maybe I need to go through the door that has the word power above it. <laughs> I see she can't see the big letters. <laughs> I saw them just a bit late. And when at last he found the source of Oh, Stanley. What? You didn't just activate the controls, did you? After I did. they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. The Is machine? That what you wanted? Control? Thanks for the bomb! Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that there? machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. 
I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe your fine is bad. Stanley I need glasses. He had just okay. initiated the network's emergency is this good? system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, DNA identification? Nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say um, two minutes. Two minutes! Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your Fuck. time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb Fucking goes off. Fucking scared. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going, what all this means. I barely know where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are. I don't give a fuck Am about I my co-workers. Before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I oh. turned off the machine. Why did he say it like that? Of course, that was merely in this instance of did... the story. Oh, uh, do I have to re-click all of them? I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons oh my God. and then dying alone. What a what an Other asshole. Times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing yeah. everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Three. Watching you try to make sense big of boom, everything. Big boom, big boom. I'm fucking scared. Rested away from you. It's quite rich. I, I don't think I'm going to make it in time. Go. But I'm sure whatever 40 I come seconds? Up oh, I might. go around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To help See, you. I knew I shouldn't I trust this fucking dude. Extra time on the clock. Why <gasps> not? Thank you. These are precious Thank additional you. seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? I... Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? <laughs> it's I not, is it? You. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. Oh, These more buttons. buttons. No. They do nothing, do they? Big red button. They do absolutely nothing. Anything. Something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One soul? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? No. <laughs> it's existential Stanley. horror. You're oh, nothing means anything. Great. But here's a spoiler for you. Existential that dread. I understand. None it's of it matters. Sticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment <laughs> that you're powerless. To see you made humble. This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world. That's fine. But I'm going to destroy Bro it. Bro is first, fucking evil. So you can't. Goodbye, employee 427. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. I'm scared. 30 seconds until a big The end is never. You are getting it now. I am getting it now. Being blown to pieces. What if I don't want to be? Desperately to your frail life. No. You let it go peacefully. I'll let it go Another peacefully. Choice. Fuck it. Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to We're me. We're going to go down all here. part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say happily ever up. We died again. <laughs> I do feel like I learned something though. All right. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the So, have I gotten like Perhaps two endings so far? Is that how this works? When Stanley came to I'm definitely going to go back this door, way. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. I did know it perfectly. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first. I think so. Okay. It. What wow. a beautiful room. Yes, this room. This but room. But eager to get back to business, Stanley there are 19 the endings. Holy shit! All right, I didn't go this and way. So he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Nope, I'm going here.
But Stanley didn't want to get insane. back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now in order this to This is get giving back, me a uh, um, uh, super lemon super liminal vibes. Here it's um left. Left? Oh no. No, it's to the right, my mistake. But I want to go to the left. I bet you I can No, could... no, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? Hmm. What was I thinking? It's clearly... Oh dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? That need you to restart the game? Nice. You dang rebel, so I know. Down, right, left, down. Can I go this way instead? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah. okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. Don't this clap story at me. is absolutely, definitely this way. Oh. Uh, um, creepy van? Can I get in the van? Am I holding a keyboard? Like, you hear this? Listen, hold on. Let me, let me pause this. When I click, I'm typing on a keyboard. Oh my god, I just got achievement saying you can't jump. And an achievement that says get your first achievement. I guess it's for spamming the button? Dude is walking around with a keyboard in his hand. No, oh. no, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Oh, I've already Quick, seen Stanley, this. Close your eyes. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. We just, we just have to get back to I'm not the... looking. Oh. Who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. Oh? How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just How goes restart the, stream? the game from the We're beginning. We're doing really good. This time, I've gotten two endings so far. So far off track, hmm? Okay. From the top. I think it's 42 because that's the answer to everything. All right. All well, there's that ending. Gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed I don't know how many endings I'm going to go for. We'll see. When Stanley... Wait. Oh, this Wait. is different. No. Oh, this no, is different. Restarted. I swear I definitely restarted the game over. Completely fresh. Everything should be... What did something change? Oh. Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the No, lights? I closed my eyes! Oh, the story somewhere, or... Hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. <laughs> what a perfect hat for this game. Stanley, <gasps> let's find the story. I want to go through here. Let's find the story. Oh. Oh, this is creepy. Stanley's in control now? I don't think I'm ever in control. Wow! Oh my god, that kind of scared me. Thank you for the follow, David. I'm just gonna stick to the right. Nothing can go wrong if I just keep I'll going. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. Ooh. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. Do we just... Do we need to restart the game again? Okay, well, let me well, go I find this it way. unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again. <gasps> but it's got to be oh. better than this. Oh. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? You're in the back rooms? It restarted me. I do want to play uh, the back rooms games. Gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Did it actually restart this time, though? It didn't. It definitely okay. did not. It's worse. It's worse. I'm remembering <laughs> this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? Okay. <gasps> Someone spilled their fucking coffee? Bro, clean up after yourself. Aha! I knew we'd miss something. The story. Here it comes. Here it comes? No, wait. Never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. This is spooky. I actually am afraid I'm about to be jump scared somehow. What's that? What is... What's that? Now this, well, I'll be honest. I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't no. think so. 
I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, is that correct? Hmm. Do you remember, Stanley? Well, uh. do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! <gasps> I won! Congratulations! Hell I yeah. I put in a lot of hard work, and it really I didn't know you could win this game. Good job. Oh, no. No, I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. I did put Some in work. Win fair and square, and this was not what one of those about? situations. Okay, I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time. I have to restart. All right, oh. I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, okay. I've employed the help of the Stanley It's the yellow brick road. Line. Oh, this is Just different though. Line. How simple is that? This is very different though. Close new boxes. See, the line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Though, here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? I'm, I'm, oh. Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such well, that I guess I can't go the other way. <laughs> conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature Bro, what of are you itself? talking okay, about? Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. Now we can both agree that the nature the line's of the going a little crazy. is in fact a byproduct of one subjective experience of that existence, right? Okay. Oh. Now, if my experience of your existence rests inside of your subjective experience of this office. Is this office, in fact, the skeleton of my own Bro. relative experiential mental subjective construct? I don't think Bro. I understood half of the words you just said to me. a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. Oh? I turned all the music down. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have. Brain implodes, right? Wait. Cut the music, go back, and look at that fern. Look at the fern? Stanley, this fern will be very important will it, though? in the story. Make sure you study it closely study it and closely. remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. There's four big leaves. Really, three. And then there's a bunch of other leaves. Got it. <laughs> you missed the music? Was it funny? Hold on, hold on. I will, uh... Oh, it's fucking Wait, well, dead quiet. We're back at the office? It's no, dead-ass no, quiet. No. Line, you do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? Line does not give a fuck. <gasps> Oh, oh no, we're back no, here. No, no, not again. We're back Man, here. How could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after everything we've been through, you... Well, I can't take this How many employees are there? 600? That's a lot of employees. You know what, <gasps> Stanley? I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for I us? I like We're intelligent work. people, right? I just can't we make hate up our own my story? boss. Something exciting, God damn. daring, mysterious. All... This all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in... Well, I don't know. How about this direction? Oh. Hello, now, Evil. Yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. I'm going in a circle. Story to be. I'm going Go back wild. this way. Use your imagination. Whatever it might be, Stanley. Oh. I'm ready for it. Oh, is it not a circle? There is a cup for everything? There truly is. Oh my god, have you guys seen those really bad, like, Facebook ads? For, like, shirts and mugs with, like, super specific fucking words on them? Uh. It's like, my, uh. Oh no, oh, not god. you again. Stanley. The line's back. I'd also like Who goes to on Facebook? I mean. In our awesome new story. No lines or to be fair, lines. my Facebook Just got fucking hacked and I had to delete fine. it. Um, 
It's just, it's, it's for old people. It's just to keep up with the old people in your life. That's basically fucking it. I have to turn the music back on. It's creepy without the music. The line is back. Well, he's gone again now. Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. Our control or your we control? We mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles. For Either I'm drunk or my name okay. isn't Kyle. The... So yes! Shirts like that! It's like, that my name's Kyle. And I like beer, women, and cheese. And it's just like, what? And that in turn means that our destination corresponds with that why am i getting this ad doors origin so starting from the right let us ask will taking the right door lead us to where we're going and since the answer is clearly yes then by all accounts the door on the right is the correct one another victory for logic come stanley our dude i'm gonna be honest awaits. my brain is so used to zoning out when people talk to me that oh god I didn't hear a fucking thing he said. What's this? Hmm. Hmm. You've been playing the confusion, confusion ending? ending? You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? And we're supposed to restart the game eight, eight times? Oh no. That's really how all this goes? It's this shows all the endings? So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? Well, there's only eight of them. Blank simply because it's written here on this this thing, wall. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get? Because Kyle's the one that hacked your I Facebook account. Is it really I don't know. It was someone in no, fucking no, New no. York, and they made a. Facebook is so fucking stuff. stupid. Sorry, I have to rant about this because I woke up at five a.m. the other morning with a notification on my phone that it was like, hey. Uh, we don't know if it was you or not, but someone in New York logged into uh, your Facebook account. I'm not in New York, by the way. I'm in fucking Texas. I don't even know anyone in New York. And I'm like, oh god, what the fuck? So I wake up, I go to my computer, because you can't do shit on the phone, and I got into my email address. They didn't change the email or the password, but... Facebook came out with this new fucking thing. It's a security key. Like, a physical, like, little, like, USB thing that you have to physically plug into, like, what you're trying to log into to open your account. So, the fucking hacker made one of these for my account. And Facebook won't let me into it. I've even sent them a photo ID and they're like, yeah, that's you. That's for sure you. Uh, we reset your password. Here you go. I go to log in and they're like, oh, you need a security key. Where's your security key? And I'm like, how do I talk to someone to explain to them? Because you can email Facebook and they will not respond to you. Yeah, they don't, don't give a fuck. What's going on. I don't want to be That's the like this. It is the I dumbest thing. The so I just gave I up. I reported it as I hacked and I think it. it's gone. I won't do it. <laughs> I gave up. And the timer stopped. Does that mean I'm And then my mom called me thinking I blocked her on Facebook and I was like, Mom, I didn't even go on Facebook to begin with. How would we even know? And but no, I didn't block Will you. Someone come for us? Oh? Something happened. What did happen? So, okay. Can I sit in the chair? I guess now we just wait. You know, I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. This is not a story. I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime, if you do- Uh... Is this the one where he forgot that it restart? All of his co-workers were gone. I think what it is. Mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting. I think Perhaps it he is. had simply missed a memo. I wish I could run. 
When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, I think I went through this one. This was not Thank you for the noodles. Meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. The lounge was sublime. A right, work of I'm leaving. Goodbye. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Alright, I don't think I've Yet, done... there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of I think I have done this Stanley one. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an what answer. What if I go down? To a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Stanley did not... Fire hose. <gasps> but Stanley Wait, can I leave? He How the fuck did this car get here? Boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. Always remember this is definitely him. not a horror game. And you saying that makes economy. me think it is. Why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe. He thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. I'm not crazy. All of my You're crazy. Blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. Uh... Made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange I'm going in a circle. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? I ain't got no feet. Why did doors close automatically Bro! behind him wherever he They came? have no fucking and idea. These rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? I oh god, no, it won't let me do himself, it. This is I don't have feet. Strange, this can't be real. I fucking but don't. Last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming. He yelled. This that was cringe. Dream. Oh, what a <laughs> Why are you saying Stanley it like that? To Can I go backwards? Found an answer, I can't an go explanation. backwards. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. This dude doesn't so, shut up, does he? He imagined himself flying and began to oh? gently float above the ground. <gasps> then I am. He imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field. And it too appeared. Wait, it was so was I floating for a second? And Stanley oh. marveled that he had still not woken up. Oh. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself. I feel like Stanley might need to go to Stanley, a mental hospital. Who found it particularly strange. I'm not gonna I'm lie. Dreaming about a voice describing me. I thinking about how it's describing my thoughts. He thought, and while he thought it all very that makes odd, my brain hurt. I wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams. The truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? I feel like I don't even Stanley need to be walking. Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. Can I get After in the all, car and go? He knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. That this was a dream. How do I prove so he that? Closed his eyes gently. Okay. And he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back. Am I actually the just dreaming? The world outside this one. Let me wake up. He thought to himself. I'm no way. This dream. I wish it to be over. I'm going to be in the go same back room. To my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please. It's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. All I Are we want talking about our mannequin life, wife? Exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. <laughs> I am normal. No, no Everything you're not, Stanley. I am this is what a crazy fucking person says to themselves. 
You mean Baldy? Yeah, our Baldy mannequin wife. Stanley began screaming. <laughs> Please, someone wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. Oh, I have an no. office. I am real. I Please have a boss. Tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. Oh. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Mariella? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, <gasps> and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy, this much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. Holy I shit. Am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this. And in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she Hello, had scheduled for that day. <laughs> the very important people... Are you I, I don't her would think so. Career. And by extension, I didn't do this. Life. That is me. Time for this. So it was only I am the Stanley man on stood, the ground. Staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. We kind of went a little crazy in that run. We, uh... We went a little silly there. The meeting room. Yes, that's where everyone would be. Stanley just needed to get to the meeting room, and from then on, <gasps> oh. he would never be alone ever Guys, again. Guys, the fucking plant over there. I don't know why, it, like, just for a split second, I swear someone was standing there. You're on edge. Like, I legit am. I know you guys say this isn't a spooky game, a but two open door, I'm not, not convinced. The, to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. I have an idea. Stanley so I noticed it the first room. run we did, for the first, but eager and to I'm going to see if business, I can do it. Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. I want to go through that door. Look, Stanley, I and think, I think I we've can. gotten off on the wrong foot. <gasps> what if I'm I went sure down there? You could survive I this drop, that right? Investing in your trust in someone else can Maybe? Be like if I land on boxes? The the story has been it's all in your head, you Mac? All in your head? Time. I'm not crazy, I swear. Neglecting Stanley. Oh, oh, someone oh, oh, really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration? I do not others? care about you, narrator dude. I want something bad to happen to you. What? I'm very convinced that that's what you want. I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you to show you something beautiful. Something Look, beautiful. Let me prove it. <gasps> let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Red or blue? Now listen carefully. This is important. Okay. Stanley walked through the red door. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not gonna fucking walk through the red door. <laughs> no thanks. Aha. Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley I did walked not. through the red door. I did not miss. I still any. don't think we're communicating <gasps> properly. Stanley walked Blue door. through the. All right, Blue fine. Door. Go ahead, Stanley. Thank you. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find <laughs> out what lies at the end of this. Fuck that red door. Chosen world. Don't let me stop you. You see? Oh. There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed Whoa. developer textures. Is Mac is a deviant. Wanted? Was it a worth little ruining bit. the entire story I'd I just don't listen, you know. For you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Yeah, I wanted Help to see this empty room. Help elucidate these strange and He is so mad at me. Rules. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skin Vehicles? Trees? Work with me. You give me absolutely nothing. Uh, so I want far. bunnies. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design and you can okay. give me some feedback. All right. There we go. A <gasps> third option. 
This oh. already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Oh. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Yeah. Okay. I'm oh. going to stop you. Please there. rate your experience. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Uh, Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more a choices? Three. Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Okay. Oh, of course. A three. Really. I mean, it was okay. It wasn't great. An actual opinion, you know? Any level of critical thinking or Sir! your surroundings? Does that sound good? Think we can do that? That was a critical too? opinion. Wonderful. Narrator's an asshole. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. I mean, you gave it three. Ends. Yeah, it wasn't good I'm or bad. It was eh. Let's take a look. Eh is an opinion. Worldwide leaderboard. <gasps> Am I gonna get to be on the leaderboard? We gonna do this again? Now, would you say oh. that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through? I the I did. Again, it really it it strange. actually helped. It's hey, a four I now. Forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working <gasps> Let's on. Let's go. That would be a lovely opportunity to give it some play testing. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. We gonna play a mini game? In this game, <gasps> the, baby the baby scared me. Towards danger. Oh, okay. To move him back to the right. No. And if he I'm not gonna fire, hit the button. Fail. Fuck it's that a baby. Meaningful game. All about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demand. <laughs> oh no, good luck. I don't need to hit the button. Will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes <laughs> Don't let me die, Bonnie. Is this, this you? So why don't you give it 4 hours? Of <laughs> this is what Bonnie sure looks like. Wait. Sure to keep notes on Wait. Oh. You heartless bastard. <laughs> <laughs> you babies or purely to spite me because if it's the latter well i don't know what to do i'm completely out of ideas i can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me i'm not even going to try i'm out i'm out i'm done you're done it's over. oh thank no thank you for playing your input was extremely valuable oh hey since my game was so awful it was a cut out of a baby just to ease the pain let's see what do we have here? You guys can't be upset I killed a, a, a fake baby. Mm -mm, yes. <laughs> this seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. What a horrible streamer. Oh. Uh -huh. Oh, is this this one game? What do you think this game is about, Stanley? What's our backstory? What is our motive? Isn't this that... There's a game that looks like this, right? Obvious to me. Yeah, it's like the Firewatch game, right? Spying on innocent Canceling you on Twitter right now? Yeah, this is Firewatch. Sort of twisted. You guys can't be upset I killed a baby. Yes, we can. Yes, that must be. No. What a fascinating venture into the experience of total mental depravity. So far, I love everything about this game, Stanley, and it seems there's even more. Come, let's venture. Are they made by the same people? Yeah, it was your damn sponsor, too. That's just how I treat my sponsor. Sorry. Kills baby. You can't be mad at me. Oh, no. You no, guys no, can't no, be no, mad at me. Be. I'm just glad we're outside. It is. It's an open world game. Good God, quickly block it off. Don't see late. No! Oh, thank goodness, Stanley. What a close call. Oh. Really wandered off into that... That the thing, lake? That big open, just wandering around, no right or wrong directions, Jonesy. no path to follow. You can like just go Fortnite? in any. What? Ooh. Oh, thank heavens we Jonesy's are. Jonesy's in Fortnite? We're out of the woods now, Stanley. We're out of the okay. woods. I don't think I'm we going are. To get us out of here. Let's no. find another game. Preferably something with walls. Something with nice, big. Uh, there's, a <gasps> there's a hole there. There's a hole. Let me. <laughs> No. Okay. I think this no. will be just the thing. No. <gasps> no, I was almost there. Wonder is this Rocket this League? Is exactly what I had in mind. Just a nice big box for you to run around in. I don't like there Rocket League. possibility that you could get lost here. Now this is game This also design. is scary. Stanley, if you manage to get lost in this game, I will be phenomenal. What happens if I make a goal? With my body, because <laughs> there's not a ball here. Okay, so what exactly do we do here? Let's see. 
There are lots of cars here in the back, but obviously there's no racetrack. Okay, I'm saying that there's a ball of some kind back here. Is this game sports ball? Yes, Damn sports it. ball. I think it's sports ball. Oh, what fun. I love sports ball. We should ball. run the bases and do a touchdown together. Exactly. Yes, I think surely we must. Okay, Stanley, here's the ball. <gasps> Have fun. Ball. Ball. Big ball. We're fucking running. Bam. Oh my god, I'm gonna do it. Can you fucking believe it? I'm sports balling. I can do it. Do it. Let's go. Are you doing it? Are you winning? Is I this am. Fun? This is, is better so than much my fun. Little story that I work so hard on. It is. Stanley, I have a thought, and I realize I'm not a Damn. sportsologist, but if one ball generates a certain amount of raw uh -huh. and general pleasure, then surely yeah. multiple balls make oh, even multiple more balls. euphoric sports experience. <laughs> okay. I'm going to try it out. Here comes another ball. <laughs> yes. Oh goodness, that really does feel amazing, doesn't it? Does. It does. Stanley, I'm like a child in a confectionery shop. I thought you were shop. playing Let's Rocket see. League. I am I playing Rocket League. More. I'm insatiable. <laughs> more balls. More balls. <gasps> All the balls. My roommates are gonna be very confused on what I'm doing. What if I make a goal with all of them? Are you enjoying this, Stanley? Are you having fun? Bam. Is this a real video game? This is a real video game. Well, I sure game. hope you're having a good time, because guess what? It's over. It's up. That's right. Your little fun comes to an end. Fuck this you, narrator. Game, and what I say goes. You get to have fun when I let you, Stanley. Besides, you need someone like He's me so to mean. set boundaries for you. Set Without boundaries, sir. I can set my own boundaries, sir. Yes, that's what I am. I am structure. I'm your sense of purpose. Sense of I had a purpose. It was to get all the balls and the goals. Now, I don't want to play with you either. So, goodbye, Stanley. I'm leaving. See how you like it when I'm not around to set the rules. Okay, can Somehow, you just drop the balls I back in? I don't enjoy it as much, but who knows? You're an inventive kid. You'll come up with something. After all, you're the one who knows best. Take care, Stanley. Oh, he's mad, man. He's very mad. Do I have to, like, kill myself by, like, falling in here? Hold on. What are you doing? I... <laughs> oh! Stanley, don't do that. I can't follow you there. I can't help you. You can't help How me? will you write a story without me? You can't Oh, you I don't like that. this. No, narrator. Oh, I don't like this. I'm scared. <gasps> I fell. I didn't even know I was going to fall. Oh? Where the fuck am I? Is Superliminal made by the same people as this game? Should don't let him know where you are? I kind of miss him just a little bit. Like he was annoying, but he was he was all right. At least I wasn't alone. <gasps> oh, oh, I thought that was a doll sitting there. What is this? Okay. He was my annoying, right? Oh. I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. Wait, we are not. And if you he's are. The cost that comes with it. He'll understand but soon he, what I was he trying yells to tell at him. me, and I like He it. needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end. To make sense out of the chaos and the fear <laughs> and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. <laughs> I didn't say that. I totally did not say that. Very soon. You definitely move. misheard what I was saying. <laughs> am I dead? <laughs> oh, I did die. All right. Phone? 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 
phone. Hello. Perceptual sphere? What the fuck does that mean? Where's the narrator? Is he dead? New content! Oh, <gasps> new content? What does that mean? New content. What does that mean? Ooh, ooh. Ooh, don't take me over there. Don't take me into the darkness. The two games were Portal and Minecraft. Ooh, I bet Portal was fun. Hello, and thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. You've made it to the Ultra Deluxe part? Let's Stanley go. Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. Home computers. <laughs> Love After it. receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles. There are still things in the first part. Yeah, I know I didn't get all the endings. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content. I did get quite a few. And expands the world of the Stanley Parable. Hey, more content. Audiences the world over. Content. Please. We're gonna Step be a content inside, see farm. What new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh well, this sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. <laughs> okay, so far it's an elevator. Nothing special well, yet. Give it some but I'm time. Sure it's just the beginning of a mesmerizing adventure. There's gonna be more offices. Can I? Uh. Um, is it broken? I don't What's know. What's going on here? <gasps> should we? We should name the narrator. Should we be moving somewhere? Or, or, oh, there we go. All right, finally, at long last, it's on to the new content. This I ultra deluxe better be worth really. it. Let's do it. I want kittens and puppies. What should we name the narrator? Hmm. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe mostly tedious. It's as if the Oh, He's kind of annoying, so he needs like content. an annoying name. Give me name. the content, Stanley. <gasps> George? I'm down with George. All right. He sounds like a George. All right, let's we can jump? The jump circle? <gasps> oh, what happens when I get to the end? Kyle. I can't name him Kyle. I know a Kyle. <laughs> We'll go with George. What? <laughs> when I first moved into my apartment, I got a fish and I named him George. I like giving fish like really like human names. The next one's name was Kyle, or not Kyle, Kevin. Jesus, I I can't jump no more. I only got so many jumps. Is is that it? Surely that's you tell not me. all the new content. There has to be something else, right? Goodness. Another elevator. Wait, Stanley, you used the- I was I not supposed to? Initial impressions of this game are not positive. <laughs> I it's think I could only jump in that one jump. circle anyways. This is what passes for exciting new content. If this is new content, then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's 20 hours of new content right there. It Hell, would take I 20 hours to read the dictionary? Trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if... Oh, wait. There's more. There's more. Very good. Let's go. Yes. I knew there had to Ooh. be something else. Let's Ooh. see it. I'm ready for whatever it is. Thank you for enjoying the That's new it? content. <laughs> oh, you've got to be kidding me. You see, Stanley? This is what happens when greedy video game developers with no respect for their fan base rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason. Rush? It was like 10 years. Dollar. And don't get me started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, test achievement, please ignore. <laughs> what, what a quality scam. Assurance department Bonnie, I think this? you got scammed. I'm infuriated, and I'm offended, and I, I intend to find these people on Twitter. 
and hold them personally accountable. <sighs> We're canceling them on Twitter too? Too much anticipation around the new content, I'm afraid. Bro, I can't wait to be canceled on Twitter. Expectations. If you're still with me, why don't we just reset the game? And we'll try what if that comes back to, comes back to fight me really later? About. No frills, no gimmicks. Just you and me having a great time together like All right, always. George. What do you say, friend? Don't call me friend, though. I don't think we're friends. Oh. This is different. This is... Very different. <gasps> Stanley, come over here. Are you in the vent? I want to show Among you us? <laughs> Can I grab this wrench? Bro, we're playing Among Us. Coffee nut? We are being very sus right now. Okay. This you is the new how Among Us game. Satisfying the new ultra deluxe content turned out to be, but it got me thinking about the past and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. So I made something special and tucked it away oh. here where the game's developers won't find it. Just our little secret. Our little secret. <gasps> I call it the memory zone. Memory it's zone. Where I've been storing all my favorite memories, so I can. This looks like um. Oh my God! My what is that movie? I want. Experiences. What is that one movie? And it's got the fucking. PC. Midsummer. You know what I'm talking about? Have any of you seen that? The eight. <laughs> what? No. You see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable zone, was sweet before zone. it was solid with a cheap re-release? Remember back in uh, October midsummer. of 2013, when the game originally launched? Back then, video games had integrity. Back then, it all meant something. Oh, the waste. 2013. The suit's kind of stuck in the past, isn't he? What the fuck is this from? The science award. I think that tree was glitching out for a second. Smile, because it happened. <gasps> That's where we died! Do you guys remember that? What's that? In loving memory- <gasps> Little Stanley! What? Why is there a photo of a hamster? Wait. What is this music? <laughs> no, not Stanley. This music is in the game, by the way. And over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Like this stunning triumph of games journalism. 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. Wow. James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, Oh, God. Where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art, Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Every game hear, ever Stanley? created. Every game ever created. That's how I didn't even know there was a hamster in the first one. The original Stanley Parable was. It was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim. It was Persona. What about Nekopara? All of them. And now, where's the Nekopara content? It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk now, a lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator content. The hamster is a player pet that they emailed to the dev and they added it in. Let's go. Oh, can I go this way? Memory zone maintenance. Can't go that way. Is this like when you think an old game that you played was really good and then you go to play it and it's shit? 
Here's another moving passage, this time from GameSpot.com. Carpet textures. The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature Dude won't of let it go. games and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, oh, it's the red and the blue door. choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. Yep, it, didn't need it was great. Else. It didn't need new content. George, it you gotta let it go. It to be left alone. To spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. A serious room. How the fuck do I get in there? I'm out of jumps! Hmm. <sighs> These were simpler times, Stanley. <gasps> it did open. But I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. I'm Wait, sorry. Hang on. I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. What's this? What's down here? Oh, I no. do get sad when I play oh, a game no. that I was fond Stanley, of and it's a collection of reviews that sucks from nowadays. Steam, the That's like every PS2 game, game ever. I haven't looked at these in years. I can't even imagine what's being collecting down here. Oh. Surely these reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? Don't make cheap re-releases. I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and Oh, is this a real one? Like it did they really cut like call out this bug person? Irritating than entertaining. Unfunny. Yes. Funny. Let's go. That poor person. I could write up a handful of gags to insert. I wonder if they asked them to like the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. Scared again. Oh, another one. Okay, let's see what this one says. While the idea for the game is good, for someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley, I'm not preachy, am I? Uh, you talk you a lot. I'm preachy. Honestly, you can. Oh, goodness. You talk quite a it's bit. It's actually quite shocking for me. I, I always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it, well, I always thought it did. But maybe it wasn't. Oh dear. Door? What an awful memory Door. to have to hold on to. These black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. I feel like a failure. <gasps> Don't like feel I like a failure. Perhaps the standard. Oh, can I try the forklift? Isn't quite as sterling as I always nope. remember. Dang it. Oh, another What's one. This Cookie! One say? Do, 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 do. Don't if read I bad reviews! Anything. So the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations oh. of what's happening. I wish there was a skip button. A skip button? Well, well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. Oh? If I'm truly too preachy, then, then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews from the record. Only positive uh -oh. reviews of the Stanley Parable. Oh, That's my what's motto that? Today, and it's always been my motto. I'd do anything for the customer. Oh, door. Yes, a skip button we shall have. <gasps> and here it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. I'll pop you forward in time so that the second my incessant droning... Oh, you're back, you see? You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue full of unnecessary verbal flourishes and lengthy mm. ruminations on the nature of choice in video games. Of course, I happen to believe it was perhaps one of my more profound such... <laughs> well there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? But a little the bit. But of the button. The minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption... Okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30... 30 45? minutes? Stanley! Stanley! Stanley, please don't push the button again! It's been 12 hours! Well, make a door for You've me! just been frozen Can there. we get a skip button for Mac? To... Do you really want to skip me? Longer, and my God, there's no way I... I don't talk as oh, much Stanley, as this dude does. You're back. You're back. Oh. oh my goodness. 
I have someone to talk to again. Stanley, I I think it's been a week. A week? Or two weeks? I've been sitting here all that time, just sitting here, not a single person to speak with. And you'd think that that's just how it's always Hello, been. Hello, Nettie! Like me talking, and you saying... How much of my life did I just skip right there? Oh, hello. It's you. You're here again. Welcome. I have had time to think about you and about us and about okay. everything we've been through. I've had so much time. I stopped keeping track after a year. A year? Sit down in one place and not move for one entire year. No. Let me describe it for you. To begin with, there is only regret. This dude doesn't learn, does he? You sleeping? Uh, George? George? Wow! What's that? What happened? <gasps> Little cat beans! Thank you for the follow! I love your name! Maybe he but left. They didn't understand. <gasps> the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to George! speak to the human condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned. They screamed. They gnashed their teeth and said, "Entertain us!" <gasps> I love the emotion. They had to too. leave a pathetic little so thumbs cute. down with you and make all of their pitiful demands. But then he's talking too much. They said first okay. he didn't enter. George, George is fucking losing it again. And still balding, right? George, can can we meet in the middle? You can be here. I want you here, but you can't the just end ramble. Is never the end 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 is never the end. I'm scared. That one's scary. I don't like that one. Uh, where did, I, <gasps> the room is like, oh, how much time are we fucking skipping? <gasps> oh, am I going to be able to get out soon? Okay, I think George died. George had to have died by now, right? Oh, it's so pretty. These do have to be- oh, No, what happened? What happened to all the plants? I liked it. Well, this is just sad now. What the fuck was that? You destroyed the room out of anger? I did. I'm like the fucking Hulk. <gasps> There's an opening. Oh. George? Uh, George? I don't think I can hit the button anymore. Only you remain? Hello, Stone! How are you? I gotta go find George. I'm gonna walk towards the sun. George? George, George, George of the jungle. I don't think George is there. Oh! George? He's still gone? How wonderful. <gasps> Stanley was George! Alone. Finally. This is great, he thought to himself. This is, this different. is what I've wanted all along. I got what I wanted. You had been super busy? 
Hopefully not. Hopefully not like bad, oh, Mizzy. You notice my sign? Yes, I have something very exciting to show you. Is this the same thing? This can't be the same thing, can it? Has something very exciting to show me. Let's see it. You see, Hopefully, Stanley, I get another I've been another. Reflecting uh, on the Stanley Parable. I know and about how roundly disappointing this ultra deluxe version has turned out to be. What? The it's not Stanley disappointing. The Parable was a landmark. And any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra deluxe nonsense. Okay. I say we take it one step even further. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever okay. the Stanley Parable 2. Let's go. Just a lot of boring score. Oh, that sucks. Your follower goal is 100. I know. It's fucking crazy. This month has been absolutely insane. It's been like my yes, biggest month see, ever. Isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully fledged sequel. An entirely right. new experience. Stanley built Parable from the too. ground up. Why there are so many possibilities. It could go in so many different directions. This is what fans Taste have truly sequel. been asking for. Investor showcase. Alright. Calling it the Stanley notes. Parable 2 is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe. No, I kind of like the Ultra, Ultra Deluxe, Deluxe thing. What does it even mean? It but the Stanley Parable 2, now that's an artistic statement right there. It's future oriented. It screams progress and win -win. innovation and long term Better franchising keep SP? potential. Oh, the Stanley Parable. The color red. Alright, he likes red. I've seen this game a few times. This is Let the first time I'm playing I it. haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be. Okay. But let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. I figure Number that if I can chat? loosely organize a handful two of interesting concepts... Two eyes, two ears, concepts, two nostrils, two arms, two legs, two... surely the game will two... sort of naturally spring up around them. It'll all work itself out. I don't know. Game development two is feet. much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical, really. Look at the show floor. This is kind of creepy. Dude's a bit obsessed. Here we are. <gasps> Go on. Who's this? Try out some of the new features. Who are you? Oh, it's me, Stanley. Is that what I look like? I mean, I've only seen the back of my head so far. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like big rooms like this. The button says the name of the player that is playing the game. Hear your name in game? <gasps> okay. For the Stanley Parable 2, I asked myself, what do players really want? Too big, too and of small, course, the just first right. First and most obvious answer is that they want to be individually recognized and validated as people. Jim. So with that, sorry, I should have clarified. Right now, the button <laughs> I was like, the name Jim. What the but fuck course, did it say? Game, this button will say your name, whatever name it that says. Is. Here, Jim. Let's have you role play as Jim to really simulate <gasps> okay. the experience of this feature. I am now just Jim. Play along. I promise you'll love it. Okay. Okay, here we go. Let's take a deep breath, clear your mind, forget okay. whoever you are, and simply become a person named Jim. What's I up, guys? You to imagine it's yourself Jim here. Living as Jim, sleeping and waking as Jim. I don't know what Jim's doing. Falling in love do. and being heartbroken as Jim. Seizing all of the world's possibilities as Jim. I've never and known a Jim in my life. Crumble into dust. Do you feel it deeply? Are you really, truly Jim right yes. now? Yes. If so, then please step forward and press the button. Jim. <laughs> oh. Yes, That's all I can think of is Jim from the office. Jim and Cheesy. The button described you. Do it again. Do it again. Oh, okay. I'll do it again. Jim. Oh. Jim. It hits even harder the second time. It does hit if harder. This were the only new feature in the Stanley Parable 2, it would still be worth the money. Slim Let's Jim take a break Cheesy. From the Jim button. I'm too emotionally drained from Oh my god, there has to be someone named Jim. 
that has like come up with a there, cowboy. Sometimes a person can a be Twitch name Slim Jim. Jim. With something. I the gym button away. Jim. Otherwise, soon no. you'll start to lose Jim. all sense Jim. of who you Jim. are. No, I'm Jim. Jim. Fuck you. Slim Shady. Slim Jim. All right. What a cool new feature. Ooh. I suppose I could allow only people named Jim to play the Stanley Parable too. That would Epilogue. actually save me the work of finishing this feature. <gasps> Collectibles. Free new and easy achievement? Get it here? Hey. Free achievement. Pull the lever, receive your new achievement, no more steps. It just works. Hit yours right now. Now here's something special. You remember right. that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? Well, yeah. I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Let's go. Yes. You see, you're okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is technology that will exist. Right now, the achievement That's is bullshit. Still broken. I'm not a wizard, Stanley. But well, I guess it will be fixed in the sequel to at last satisfy the We'll make it work before you put a bunch of advertisements world, for it. Uproariously demanding this feature. Gamers. We hear you. Gamers, we hear you. Happen. I'm disappointed. I'm very fucking disappointed. What else? What other examples haven't we seen yet? Look at his... Oh, he doesn't have a butt. Uh, uh, oh, I don't like this. Ah, collectibles. Now it's a real video game. In the Stanley Parable 2... Y'all run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. Miniature Stanley things? And what's Stanley truly things? innovative is that there will be no reward for collecting all of them. Oh, okay. I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. Oh! You simply collect all of them, and then you move oh, I don't like on this. your unremarkable life. Why are there always weird mannequins in every fucking game? I only... Five more? Okay. Cool. God, it really is the worst when you collect everything in a video game and then they give you a big fancy reward for I don't think that's the worst. Tragic. You know what? Let's bring the jump circle <gasps> back for Yes, Stanley can Powell I have more jumps? As well. It's have you played Little Nightmare? You already spent all your jumps I... the first time we saw the jump circle. Hmm. Oh well. I suppose it can just be a nice decorative piece then. I have I own Little Nightmares 2 and I played a little bit of it, but I I have not played the first one or really played through the second one. Can I have a t-shirt? All right, office decorations. Please no screenshots. Okay, I'll be honest, I haven't yet decided on this one. Okay. I think that in the new version, the office yeah, well, could someday. use a bit of decoration. Happy 12th birthday, Stephanie's. Get well someday and happy 12th birthday. Which would you go with? Uh, I kind of want the, the, this one. You know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually wow. really wanted all along. You chose the- It will someday, it is. Well, that's fucked up. Or actually, maybe I should have gone with- No. No, I've made my decision. We're moving on. George is so mean to me. What's this way? Click the other button? Does it do something? Can I change it now? Come now. You've already made your choice. It's true that you chose badly, but we all have to move on from our mistakes. No. He won't let me. George is a big meanie. Oh. 
Oh god, I don't want to look at that. What? Stanley, here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's never been done before in a video game. Uh -huh. This is, in fact, a hole that you can fall down. Oh, that sounds forever. fucking right. terrible. Infinite falling. You ah, can yes, fall the until hole. the end of time, if you like. Is it closing in on me? The video games as a medium. I don't think I want to do this. I literally got sick playing Portal because I have a fear of heights and like looking down made me like actually like get sick. All right, fuck it. I'm just gonna, oh, I'm gonna look down because it's black. You see? Oh, that didn't help. One of my more ingenious concoctions if I We're just gonna so. not look at well, it. Then, since you've We're not gonna to look at it. Infinite hole, you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top the teleport and we can button? continue onward. Great. Now, I'm very excited to show you even more of my ideas for the sequel. Okay. Was I supposed to keep falling for a little bit longer? God, I hope not. There's an ending in involving that hole? Uh-oh. I think I looked at everything. Maybe there's something over here. This. Oh goodness, <gasps> um, Stanley, this is fairly awkward. I hate to do this, but before you leave, okay. you really should go to the bucket exhibit. Bucket see, exhibit. A surprise! I was going to spring on you later, and Where's it involves the bucket, the exhibit? bucket. And I really do hate to Hello, break the illusion, but it's important that you go see the bucket. Okay. Okay. All right, I'll get out of your hair now. Well, where the fuck is the bucket? The bucket is the best. All right, that's the gym button. Oh, bucket. Reassurance bucket. All right. We all need reassurance. A common complaint of the Stanley Parable okay. was that it was confusing and paradoxical, that it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who played it. Well, I am happy to say that after much consideration, I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. Okay. It's the Stanley Parable <gasps> Reassurance okay. Bucket. You see, Stanley, any time you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind. Is this when you like pick up an item in a game? As as you hold onto the bucket, like the in a scary game and you just carry it around? Of the Stanley Parable I, can, feel I can't even grab it. Normal and perhaps even comforting. You may even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your arms. And to be honest... It's a much more convenient solution for me than actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. Can you imagine what a pain in the ass that would be? Yes, the bucket is the perfect solution. I prefer a companion cube myself. <laughs> oh! Can you feel it? The glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, must be. What the fuck was that laugh? And in fact, can I say that I, I do thought it was the bucket, bucket air of charisma as well. <laughs> I think that just holding it has made you the slightest bit more attractive as a person. The bucket makes me the attractive? The seem to go on and on, don't they? All this and more await you in the Stanley Parable too. Okay. <gasps> do I get to keep the bucket? Bro. Does Let's anyone give out awards for most enjoyable bucket in a video game? That really should be an award if it isn't already. It's bucket time. Who is the girl? Our wife is bald and a complete mannequin. Alright, I can't go that way, so. Do I actually have to keep the bucket? That's creepy. I don't like that. What is this? So, Stanley, what do you think? Do you like all of the new features? 
Yes, I know it's not exactly Bucket clear is bestie? how exactly these features will come together as one single coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. It's going to work. There's definitely a I good don't like game the big in there somewhere. In the Say, let's do an experiment. I'll arrange these new features together, and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. Okay. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? I think so. Here it is. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. Um, well, um, wow. I mean, potential here, right? It's sort of... Okay, never mind. Hold on. Let me do a different arrangement. Okay. Okay, yes. Yes, this is much better. I feel good about this. Here we go. Version 2. <sighs> Who am I kidding, Stanley? This isn't a coherent video game at all. It's There's a lot two of holes gags. now. And I do very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. I wanted more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. I wanted fans to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they won't stand on their own. They would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. Wait, maybe that's it. Oh? I can take the original Stanley Parable and simply, mm -hmm. well, insert a few of my new features into it. Tastefully, of course. With respect. With care for the vision and integrity of the original game. Would it possibly work? I suppose it could, but it would need a really, really tremendous title screen. A title screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction... George is ranting this again. This is the Stanley Parable 2. Let me see if I can whip something up. <laughs> All right, perfect. Go ahead. Take a look. Oh? Oh, the settings are the same. Never mind. This Let's is the story skip. of a man. We're skipping. <gasps> but where'd Bucket go? You can't just take Bucket. Oh, All not these fucking balloons. Gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting. I gotta look for Perhaps the collectible. He had simply missed a memo. <gasps> Stanley picked up the bucket. We got Bucket. Let's fucking go. I didn't think he'd actually give it to me. Can I do anything with it? Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to <gasps> his chest and entered the door on his left. Yes. Still no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Perhaps his boss's office was where he'd find answers. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Oh. <gasps> what are the bat? <gasps> Collectible! One of, them, one of the miniature Stanley Bro, figurines. Bro, fucking easy. Remember, no reward for collecting I all know. Of these. Only the but it's still satisfying. Of a job well done. You can't buy that sort of happiness, Stanley. God knows I've tried. So, I implore you to savor each and every <laughs> moment you come across one of these beautiful figurines. I've got the feeling money's for stealing, but not yours, of course. So that's a lovely purse. What? What the fuck does that mean? Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken was down into an emotional dumpster fire three, if not for the soothing presence of the bucket. No. Nope. Even now, in his darkest of hours, it's close did the to that though. Warmth and guiding light pierce the dark clouds of confusion and chaos. I just want it to would put something in the bucket. Always. The bucket would. And he knew it. The two of them were inseparable. At this point, Stanley was so absorbed in the tender spiritual connection he shared with the All bucket right. that he didn't the bucket thing's getting weird the now. Desk. Oh. Nor in his bliss of simply being near the bucket did he have any notion that the pin number for the keypad was 2845. 
But Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it that the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket guiding him? Yes, this is certainly the most logical explanation. <gasps> Collectible. Another miniature Stanley figurine. This, um, you know, there really must be a snappier name for these things. What about mini stands? Mini stands. Stanley figs. Um, what about Stanlerines? Yes. No. I think I like that. No. Another Stanlerine under your belt. From speed running. It does seem a little less scary with the bucket. I'm not going to lie. An unknown fate. It would be all Stanley could do to keep himself together, if not for the bucket. Soothing him, comforting him, reassuring that in this darkest moment of uncertainty, he would be all right. The bucket is here for you, Stanley. Everything will be fine. Thanks, George. Bucket is a game changer. Stanley it's like every scary game. The large door that read, oh, I didn't go this way last time. Although this passageway had the word escape. Every scary it, game, if you can carry was, something, it, it helps a little hall, bit. Stanley and the bucket would both meet a violent death. Oh, violent death? I love it. The door behind them was not shut. Stanley okay. and the bucket still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on nope. track. No, we're focused. At this point, Stanley and the Bucket were knowingly walking forward into a very painful death for each I of them. I don't trust you, George. I mean, if death is the only escape. <laughs> oh. Oh, we're fine. Oh, we're not fine. And Never mind. Motion and Stanley and the bucket <laughs> inch closer to their um, Stanley reflected on how meaningless the bucket's warmth and comfort had turned out to be. To be sure, it puts the mind and the soul at ease to embrace. Save us, bucket! If I just throw the bucket in there, when you're about can I get over there? Death. This is. I can't Stanley leave. I'm. Himself. I'm and pretty he sort fucking of kicked stuck. Himself for wasting so much time carrying a bucket everywhere. Farewell, Stanley. Oh no. Oh. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley and the bucket were led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a what the fuck is this? Instant, the bucket's life came to an end as it was crushed violently to death. Is it the bucket narrator? <laughs> oh. I think Bucket saved us. It was a shame, the death of such a magnificent bucket. It's true that all oh my are God. in their own way, but this one stood above We've the transcended. rest. It was a glorious bucket to behold. What the fuck is this? Welcomes you to the grand exhibit? Oh my God. Okay. Can you see how arrogant it was for Stanley to take a bucket like this and to claim it for his own? Where did my Can bucket you see go? The hubris that blinded him. Can you see Are you taking the my fucking is bucket? Far more noble than Stanley will oh, ever be in the his bucket. short life. <laughs> it just ascends to the heavens. Can I have my bucket back? Can I have this bucket? No. Inferno bucket. This is, this is goofy. No, you killed the bucket. You're not worthy of bucket. And certainly not a bucket as dazzling I, to behold as this one. I was willing to die with the bucket. Is that not enough? The bucket. The ha oh, the hanging bucket. Oh, do we do it? We're doing it. I don't know how we were walking but on there air there. Something we can oh? do. Something we can do together, you and I, that will right this terrible wrong. Okay. 
Let Stanley die. Let him be crushed by the machine. Don't reset the game. Don't give him another opportunity to run off with another beautiful bucket. We can save the world's buckets from their treatment as tools and implements if only we let Stanley die together. No! The bucket shall take its place as ruler, as leader, the bucket won't as let me die. Of a new world, no fucking way. For... Okay, I think Bucket let me die. Wait, did he? Yeah, I fucking died. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. He's fucking Stanley coming with me again. I don't give a arms, fuck. And a wave of comfort rushed over him. Stanley clutched the right, bucket tightly door. to his chest. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him. Telling him that the oh? employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the All bucket right. turned We're out looking to be for correct, collectibles. Was this better than no? Never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stand I think I'm gonna go left. to uh to this meeting. way, right? And instead of going through the, no, the blue door. Said the bucket. No. Don't go to the meeting room. <laughs> go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. <laughs> go there. Go to the cargo lift. What is, what is that voice? Uh, we're gonna go through the red door Good, this time. said the bucket. Now run. There's another place to the left the in the top. maintenance room? There's something up there I need Drop down to this do. side? You want me to? Stanley did not question why, but Stanley feared that any path he walked might lead to the separation of himself and the bucket, his dearest friend. So he threw himself to his death. Oh. <laughs> that they might die in one another's arms. How deeply touching. Just me and my bucket. Stanley had never seen the I thought I could land on the boxes. Was it a sign of something? He hoped it was. He hoped very much. The confusion and the chaos all seemed to melt away as Stanley embraced the bucket. Stanley clutched All right, the bucket. All right, this time I'm going to go the other way. The correct way to the meeting and uh, hopefully not die. Stanley felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. Yes. And here it was. Had yep. the bucket turned out to be correct? No. Nope. Never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door. You get an achievement for getting on and the off meeting. the lift? Will it no, come back, though? said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Don't go, go somewhere to the else. meeting room. The cargo lift, yes. Good. <gasps> oh, what's bucket. that over there? Oh, it's a collectible. The the top. There's something up there I need you to do. How do I get Stanley that? Did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed How do I get over there? Talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him. Ooh. And he oh, unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. Looks like you just drop But there's a fence over that way. No, stop. Look okay. there on the wall. You see, there's a sign right no there. No buckets. Says, no buckets past this point. Well, that's some Stanley, bullshit. How would you think it was okay to bring the bucket here, unless? He's my friend. The problem is that you actually don't know what is a bucket and what isn't a bucket. I suppose that would explain a lot about your behavior up to this point. <laughs> what do you mean? If that's true, well, my goodness, I think we have to do something about it. Okay. This misunderstanding could have dire consequences on the entire rest of the game. I'll look next next run problem. through. So much of the impact no. of the story is dependent on. Could I really jump in the game if I hadn't gotten rid of all of them? Bucket. Please step in here for a moment. Uh, I don't trust this, but sure. I'm gonna Bonnie. You can... that's my bucket friend. Oh, we're gonna play. Is this a bucket? I'm going to Let's run you fucking through go. some test scenarios, and you'll okay. tell me whether or not the thing I'm showing you is a bucket. Okay. Simply enough, right? This should tell us everything we'll ever need to know about what is or is not a bucket. Okay. Okay, let's begin. I mean, technically, lots of things can be buckets, one, right? Is this a bucket? That's definitely a bucket. Incorrect. Fuck. It is a hologram. Why, why do you hate bucket, the bucket? Not an actual bucket. It's a hologram. Well, how the fuck am I supposed to know? Can I go touch him? Item two. Is this a bucket? Yes. 
Incorrect. It is a 3D oh my. recreation of a Are none of them buckets? Bucket. I think I have the only bucket. I'm that's what's going on. Item 3. Is this a bucket? No. Incorrect. This is a bucket. Mm. <laughs> okay, asshole. Item four. That's a tractor! A but is it a bucket? I mean, they can sometimes have like a bucket thing on them, but this one doesn't. It's not a bucket. Correct. Let's go. <laughs> this is a tractor and not a bucket. <laughs> to be honest, I just sort of put this one in here as a gimme. Okay, thank you. That even this might be too much for you. Thank that, you. No, you didn't know what a bucket was? I mean. I guess I don't know what the fuck a bucket is. Thank you for the head pads. Is this a bucket? Oh, now you're fucking with me. <laughs> Why do I want to say it's a bucket when it's a fucking tractor again? And is there a bucket like in it? It's a bucket. It's a fucking bucket. This is a bucket. It, it doesn't even explain it. It's like, yeah, that's a bucket. You're right. Item mm. six. Is this a bucket? Yes. Trick that's... question. Oh. Both. Got Both? What, what does that mean? No, I, I know. There's just absolutely no explanation now. Item. Wait, hold on. I can't find the next one. Let me see. It should be around here somewhere. I'm scared. Yes, thank you. There's nothing here. Of exactly. course it isn't a bucket. We both know full well that nothing isn't a bucket. Wait, when I say nothing isn't a bucket, that makes it sound like I'm saying everything is a everything bucket, is which of course bucket. is not true. Unless, is that what you think? Answer me straight, Stanley. Are you trying to tell me that you believe everything is a bucket? Everything can be a bucket. You know what? <laughs> I'm too confused to even George is that. done with my shit. I've lost all sense of perspective. What is a bucket? What isn't a bucket? Mere moments ago, I could answer these questions with confidence. And yet now I'm somewhat adrift. Do any of us know what a bucket is? Am I a bucket? I mean, we can be buckets. Stanley, I can't You're a keep bucket. doing this. I'm losing myself, and myself was all I ever had to begin with. I'm afraid the bucket <laughs> this is This is what goes through my head when I say dumb shit. Apart. Am I, I a bucket? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to erase all buckets from the game entirely. No! Okay. Here we go. No! No, what is Mac what doing? Is everything gone? Why did everything Don't disappear? ever it, question what I'm doing. I have no fucking idea. Every single thing in the game was a bucket. Yeah, everything was a bucket. Oh God, I had no idea. How could... Except me. I am not a bucket after all. And you, Stanley... You're still here. You're not a bucket either. I want to oh, be a this bucket. Is wonderful news. We're not buckets. Yes, I actually feel much more at ease right now. It's delightful to get some clarity on that issue, but it doesn't change the fact that we haven't got a game. So tell you what, I'll reset everything. That's horrible we'll news. All of that the I'm buckets, not a bucket. Okay? And we'll know that it's all a bucket. But if you run I mean, into if a bucket notes, is just something that holds something, who knows what that information might you do? You can be a bucket. Person. All right, here we go. Fine, that's not how you spell bucket. <laughs> is bucket actually gone? Bucket oh, roll on Discord. There. Stanley wondered to himself: minutes, days, centuries. Did something <gasps> crucial happen okay. while my warmth spread through Stanley's arms? That's right. With the bucket in his arms again, he was home. Why is this balloon in the chair? Don't forget that. You're right. Stanley I gotta go get the collectible. The Hold on. To his chair. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket here turned out to be correct? Was. was this? No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. No way, didn't it? No. Said no. The bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift. Yes, go. go there. 
go to the cargo Let's lift. Let's go. I don't like this. Okay, I'm going back hey. to the name of these little Stanley figurines. And now I'm torn between Stanlarines and Figlies. Figlies! What name better encapsulates the intrinsic sense of happiness that you get from seeing a small number Figlies. in the corner of your screen go up by one? Stanley Let looks so on. fucking I'm unhappy. Sure come to me. All right, we're gonna go. Jesus Christ, we're going in here. I don't. I've never been this way. Ooh. Why are there cassettes on the ground? Narrator dialogue? Uh oh. <gasps> okay, this is day number 295. Tape number. What the fuck is this? I don't even know. I've lost track. Nothing feels real anymore. Is this George? The longer I study this bucket. The less I didn't, sense. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to be about the bucket. The sheer euphoria I feel every time I pick it up. No matter how many times I've done it, it's always the same feeling. Is the whole ultra deluxe just about a the bucket? Emptiness in my chest <gasps> when I set it down. Aww. It doesn't make sense there's no I am explanation for it i still haven't figured out why i see the world so differently when this bucket all right i think we're losing arms. it again why everything feels so what do i do with this treasure <laughs> i can I can monetize it. Monetize it? it? Yes. We're about to have to buy the bucket? It's unthinkable the amounts of money people will pay for even just an hour with the bucket. This. I don't like is this. It's my golden ticket. But I have to be careful. Because as soon as this gets out, there's going to be a target on my back. Even now, I don't know who might be trying to get... Time to worship Bucket? What's that? Are we about to have like a gotcha Who's system that? with like different buckets? <gasps> Camporata. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Did he just say like a demon's name? Guys, this is a horror game. I'm I'm fully convinced now. What, two hours in? It's a fucking horror game. All of his co-workers were gone. All right. What could it mean? I'm Stanley not going to grab the bucket the this time. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. We're going to go through the red door. When That's what I want to do. A set of two open doors. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. And Stanley I do miss the bucket, well. though. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. It was okay. It was okay. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Nope. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's you someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you forgot. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero so consideration? So, I'm, I'm going to assume others? that picking up the bucket that I want gives me ultra deluxe to endings. Why? I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you. To show you something beautiful. Look, and you go let, right me door. It. let me prove that I Hey, dipshits. It's me, Marky Plyer, and welcome back now, to Five here, Shits at Farties. Todo, we will be parties. fighting Big Shit MC Gear and his three gigashitters. Wish me luck. <laughs> Fuck off. 
<laughs> I don't even know what that means, Bonnie. Me. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? The there is a is bucket alternate ending for every regular ending. Okay. Running and running and running, just the way you're doing. That's right what now. I figured. That Did the bucket unlocked all the extra story? stuff. I just. I, want I do really story. like the bucket ending. Would, to be fair. We would both be so much happier if we just stopped. Stop. And I think. Well, I think I have a solution. Okay. Here, let me show you. Well, I know I didn't get this normal ending. Uh. Mm. Oh. What do we want? We want cheese. What are we looking for? Cheese. Mm. Here. Yes. Oh. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Mm. If we just stay right here, right in this moment with this place, Stanley, I think I feel happy. Oh. I actually feel happy. Good for you, George. <laughs> I'm happy for you. I'm relieved. No, <laughs> wait. Where are you going? I'm sorry, George. Oh, no. Stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. We'll lose all of this. Only you're happy Please, though. No, Stanley, let that me seems stay a here. little Don't unfair. Take this from me. <gasps> Please, Stanley, think about what you're doing. Oh, this is a dark ending. Holy shit. No. Oh. Thank God. Let's go retry. <laughs> no. No, no. What are you doing, Stanley? Please. Maybe I'm I need to, not to take jump with it. Get me. a little extra I can't few go back inches. Back to what I was before. <laughs> if you die, we'll both go back. Why are you doing this? We're gonna go backwards. Stanley, what the fuck? Let's go back to the other room. Can you do that for me? No, George. My God, is this really how much you dislike my game? It's how much I dislike that you. You'll throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it. You are literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. Well, you can't Am say I that on the situation Twitch. correctly. Yep. Maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. <laughs> I don't know anymore. I just wanted us to get along. But I guess that was too much to ask. It looks like you wanted to make a choice after all. Well, this one is yours. Damn, he's really sad. I almost feel bad. Almost. Is it over? Oh! oh. It's going to restart, isn't it? I'm going back. That one was that one was a little sad. <gasps> Stanley Look, it's picked here up now? bucket and smiled. He'd never be alone again, not truly. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge We're going to go across the lift now. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? I still need two more collectibles to be fair. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took In the, the shortcut the after the lounge. To the meeting this? Room. There's an elevator, this elevator? And so the two of them detoured through the maintenance section and walked straight ahead to the opposite door. Oh. Ugh, excuse me. Are you talking about this? I mean, I haven't done this anyways. I haven't done this with the bucket. I've done it without the bucket. Oh. Good, Stanley. I'm glad you found your way here. I knew you'd find this place eventually. Oh? <gasps> it's our wife and her baby! See, your friends and I are concerned for you, Stanley. This, We've these come are, together this is my here wife and baby. We care about you very much. It's this bucket you're carrying around everywhere. Oh, no. The bucket isn't even from the original Stanley parable. It's just sequel Is this content. a fucking... We're the ones that matter, Stanley. Classic intervention about my fucking game, bucket? Like the adventure line and the broom closet. Because that's what fans want from a sequel. They want more of their favorite jokes. Not this bucket that they've never seen before. Yes, I know I'm the one who gave you the bucket, but you're spending too much time. I like the bucket. Don't you want another story involving the adventure line? No, fuck we could the make adventure the adventure line. line go somewhere new. <gasps> yes, yes. Take that's me. what. Whee! Look at that wacky line. Who knows where it'll go off to next? Oh, and it played some silly music as well. Oh.
Now Thanks for the cheese. Now this is what the Stanley Parable is all about. Don't you remember all those great jokes Hello, from the original Rice. dialogue? Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> what? I don't remember it's that. As now as it was back then. Let's do it for what? the fans, Stanley. Let's give them more content what? exactly like this. But if we want to do that, you're going to have to give something up. No, I'm not giving up this fucking bucket. I'm not fucking doing it. Don't you get it, Stanley? No. We need to get rid of the bucket. That's I know I'm the word you're saying. Introduce a brand new character. This is the Bucket Destroyer. I think it'll make a wonderful new addition to the rich lore of the Stanley Parable. True, it also was not in the original Jesus game. Christ, it's such a well-fleshed-out character bucket? with so much personality that to me it already How feels as though no. it's been part of the cast all along. Don't you agree? Um. Can you guess what the bucket destroyer does? Sure, you uh, need me to does it, it out destroy a bucket? Go ahead now, Stanley. What if Say I go in? Say goodbye to the bucket, and then pop it into the machine when you're ready. How do I turn off this machine? Now listen to me. It's crucial that you give it the bucket. It I makes don't a know new what bucket. The bucket destroyer will do if it can't destroy your bucket. Destroying buckets is all it knows. I that don't want to destroy the bucket. That is a singular personality trait. Uh, sure, I can hear you saying, "How does a character with only one personality the trait bucket to join at the me. pantheon of beloved Stanley Parable characters?" Well, you see, if you were to really explore the bucket no, destroyer, don't do it. you'd see that its desire to crush buckets is so densely loaded <laughs> with complexity and nuance that it's really like I feel ten like it's, personality it's about to traits. Explode. What other object in this game can you even say that about? The broom closet? Certainly not. I wonder what sort of bucket destroyer merchandise the fans will be clamoring for after this. Okay, the bucket destroyer is getting very upset now. You'll have to hurry and feed it. Feed we can't it? get back to the classic Stanley Parable characters like the Adventure Line or the Bucket Destroyer. I can't. Until you crush that damn bucket. Oh, oh. Quickly now. The fans are waiting. Do it, the fans, Stanley. It, it, Give the it fans won't do it. Hurry and... I don't think I destroyed the bucket. Oh. oh. What the... Destroyer, my prized creation. You had so much potential. We were going to do such marvelous things with you. Tell <laughs> such spell-binding stories about you. All of it squandered now. Look at it go. Goodbye, <laughs> new friend. I killed Bucket Destroyer. Let's fucking here. go. You were magnificent. To be fair, I did try to feed it the bucket. But the bucket would like turn to look at me like how how could you? <laughs> Hello, Jay. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Could Stanley it mean? decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had bucket. the good old bucket. Just hey! Off on another Thank you for the ten bits, PW. Together. Didn't think Stanley I'd be donating for kills in this chest, game. <laughs> and this was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the All right, this time I'm for sure going across the, the lift. The employee lounge was simply the place to be, and here it was. I want to do that ending with the bucket. Correct. No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back no, to I the didn't. meeting room. No, said no. the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go All somewhere right. else. The cargo lift. Yes. Good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. This but Stanley bucket chose can. not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. In here, said the bucket. Go into the <laughs> I hate the voice they're here. doing. Stanley once again obeyed blindly. Of course I did. Oh. Now pick <gasps> up the phone. This is the sad story of a man named Stanley and his bucket. Once oh, upon no. a time, I gave Stanley a bucket because I thought he was lonely and could use a friend. 
and then very distressingly Chash, are you trying to, to troll me could speak to him I can tell the message wasn't deleted where's my bucket at Oh, Bucket. Hello, Stanley. It's me, your Bucket. Press B to take me to work with you. All right. The Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket was merely meant to provide the comforting glow of You can unplug that phone? It doesn't <gasps> literally talk Ooh. and give you orders. I'll do that Whatever next time. Whatever Stanley is hearing the Bucket say to him oh, is just in bucket. his head. Z to take me back home with you? I'm not ready to go home. I mean, I guess I am then. Lately, I've been concerned about him. Wouldn't you be concerned as well? To see him delusional like this, I mean, this, all the things to kind of be obsessed with. Object? Buckets aren't like I want to say that bad. To I don't know how I can on like a grand it. list of things. If he'll listen to me. Wait, is the bucket a boy or a girl? Man, I don't know if I want to put a gender with this thing. I don't. It's a bucket. <laughs> go back to work. Let's go. I mean, we can name it something. Stanley, can you hear me? Listen to me. It's I'm just listening. a bucket. No, it's it my think. bucket. It can't talk. All it will ever truly do for you is effectively transfer a liquid from one location to a different location. Okay. It. it doesn't do anything else. Let's name it Bucket. I'm down. Don't listen to the loud man. Press I for us to go back home. Okay. Oh, it's dark you now. You see, he's not listening. He's still taking orders from the bucket. Honestly, this you is know, a pretty once little upon a decent time, it apartment. Was me he took orders from me. He trusted and listened to. Now all he cares about is his awful bucket, this stupid hunk of metal. Press J to ignore anyone in your life except for me. You got it, dude. It's sad, but I suppose he doesn't need me anymore. Sorry, from George. On, I've replaced you with bucket. This bucket, this cold, <laughs> empty bucket, this bucket. sort of shiny bucket. But he did well, call the bucket a hunk. A nice he really did. I mean, there was a whole museum for this bucket, so... You believe I'm real, don't you, Stanley? Press Q to go back home. Yes, I suppose on closer inspection, that it doesn't quite look like your average hardware TV. store bucket. It's just a little more, um... What am I trying to say? Sturdier. There's more a bucket in the photo there! <laughs> Like it would be better at moving an amount of water from one room to another. Is there another painting? Oh, there's a bucket. Is there a bucket in there? I don't see one. Netflix and chill with the bucket? I don't... Never mind. No, never mind. Oh my oh. god, what am I saying? Better at carrying water from room to room. It's a bucket. It's literally just a bucket. I think bucket. George is jealous. Why do I feel some need to point out the ways in which it's so much more than just a regular bucket? To go home to work to home to work to home. Alright. No. I'm, I'm oh, there's candles. The bucket. No, 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 no. Oh, the bedroom door's open. Why do I want to be with the bucket? Hear what, what the bucket has to say. <laughs> do anything it asks. What's wrong with me? I don't understand. Perhaps, perhaps, if I had the uh... bucket, this would be less confusing. Yes. The bucket could tell me what to do in this troublesome situation. The bucket could tell me what to do. What are you saying, sir? Stanley, give me the bucket. No! Give it to me. Give me the bucket, Stanley. I You're need jealous. It. Give it to me now. Give it Close your eyes? <laughs> go go back to work? Oh no, step bucket. What are you doing? <laughs> that was weird. That took a weird turn. I'm not gonna lie. That got a little All of his a little strange. Gone. What could it mean? <laughs> Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Where are we going today? The bucket asked. Stanley oh. just smiled. Anywhere they went together would be... Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his We've gotten chest closer, obviously. <laughs> this was not the correct way to the meeting room. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him. Telling him that the M. Nah, it's normal, Mr. Jin. I don't... And here I don't think it's normal. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was no... Never mind. So I think I've done all the endings that way. Stanley took the door on his left to Wait. go back to the meeting room. PW, what did you say? There was something. Oh, unplugging the phone. 
All right, so I'll have to do that another time. Through the maintenance section and walk straight what is normal the anyways? Door. I don't know. Maybe not having a bucket on your bed. With candles lit. I'll take, I'll take that normal. <gasps> How can we find them? Oh. Oh, is there one in here? There will be a reward? <gasps> they lied to me. Oh, they fucking lied to me. Trust the completionist instinct? You have no idea. <gasps> broom closet! Oh, Stanley. Can you feel it? Oh. The broom closet. It wants the bucket. You it wants the that, bucket? The aura of jealousy? It's as clear as you day. You can't this have my fucking bucket. It deserves the bucket. We That's have to find all the collectibles. It's a bucket. It belongs in a broom closet. Oh. That's what the broom closet is trying to say here. It's supposed to go with the other cleaning supplies. It's not a cleaning Don't supply. Go. Don't give in. Don't hand over the bucket. Okay. I know how hard it must be. Fuck you, broom Given closet. the pressure that the broom closet is putting on your shoulders. You know, right a sentence I never thought I would say. This is your bucket. This is your companion yeah. and lifelong friend. Yeah. You can't hand it over. Oh, no. We're getting into name calling now, it seems. Is this how low the broom closet it's, has sunk? It's calling it me names? What the fuck is it saying? Insults, simply in order to get you to hand over the bucket? Stanley, I never loved George was losing his voice right there. For a variety of reasons. But even this is worse than I had imagined. And wait. Now the broom closet has the gall to imply that you and the bucket are not truly deep and lasting friends. That your relationship We're more than friends. I don't know if you meaning, have noticed. That your life is so banal and meaningless that you'd feel the same sort of kinship towards any inanimate object which happened to lay <laughs> in your path in an okay, evening partially entitled. Uh, I deserve a clown well, nose. Never. Go on, Stanley. Lay into it. Really tell the yeah. broom Fuck closet you, broom closet. Comments. You only got one broom. You can't even be called a broom closet. Shared together. Go through each You're not even point organized. Point. Share your journal entries detailing the rich emotional landscape of your feelings for the bucket as they have changed and evolved over the years. Years? Let him have it. Uh, I'm I'm not a mean person. I don't want to. Okay, I've got you something which I okay. think will help settle this debate once and for all. Okay. Here we go. What? There. Now it's settled. No what? more debate. No more discussion. Property of Stan- Take a hike, Bruce. I just put a fucking property sticker on my bucket? About the nature of cleaning supplies and their relationship to broom closets in the natural You don't really do fields. that with your friends. Just saying. All right. All right. I've got a second sticker oh. back here, and I'm going to slab it on as well because I think it's appropriate. Okay. Bucket. I feel that it works because the sticker is also a bucket. Yes. That way, if you're ever unsure whether the thing you're holding is a bucket or not, you can look down at this sticker and say to yourself, Ah, it's a bucket. Wow. There really is a wide variety of applications for this sticker. Is, Am I done in the broom closet now? You know what? I could oh. take the name calling and the dismissal of your I guess not. The bucket, but now <laughs> Wait, the broom closet is just giving us a sticker on the bucket. And to be honest, I'm sick of the pettiness on display. You can stay here all you like, but I've had it with this impetulant room of cleaning supplies. Easily the most childish such room I've Man. ever been in. I'll see you outside, and we can get on with the story about you and your bucket. George really doesn't like this closet. All right. Hi, broom closet. Coming to We're a staircase, downstairs. Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to downstairs. the boss's office. But We're Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished? His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. He this one was the, the really long arms. one. Am I crazy? He asked the bucket. The bucket returned his gaze, but said <laughs> nothing at all. That's strange, Stanley thought. Usually the bucket is a source of guidance and wisdom for me in difficult times such as these. He held the bucket close, yet felt none of its familiar reassurance Aww. and comfort. And that's when Stanley realized 
This isn't my bucket. It's just a normal everyday no. bucket. No! It literally someone says it's property of bucket. mine! How did I end up with someone else's bucket? This is all terribly wrong. Surely no <gasps> good would come from this. Who knows no. what sorts of bizarre hallucinations Stanley Where'd might experience go? without the psychologically grounding presence of his bucket. But I had property of Stanley now sticker. That the rooms were repeating, which was, of course, very odd. And now he felt himself floating off the ground. Oh, gracious. He exclaimed, without my bucket, I've gone truly mad. Where is it? I must find it. Far off in the distance now, he heard it oh? calling to him. Stanley, Stanley, <laughs> it's me, the bucket. Where's Could the bucket? Be? He rushed forward from room bucket. to room. Bucket, oh, by several one bucket buckets. The next. None of them were his. None? None of them were his special bucket. Are you Come sure? Come to me, Stanley, find me. He had to find These all the look like pretty he good had to buckets. Return to his old friend. It was the only way to truly restore his sanity. And then suddenly, he froze dead in his tracks. He knew where the voice of the bucket had been coming from. The real bucket was inside of him all along. It, uh, uh, what? It was incredibly painful. Stanley doubled <laughs> over in agony. What? And blacked out. <laughs> This is the story of a woman named Mariella. <laughs> what does he mean, inside? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, picked up her bucket of comfort and security, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk <laughs> so was everyone carries the their bucket? Of a man who had stumbled through town, talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead <laughs> on the sidewalk. Right away, she knew I what mean... the problem was. After this what we experienced no in in the of apartment, he gone mad. Who knows? Ranting and raving about an oh, hydrate, thank all you. Of his actions and how everything is predetermined and free will is an illusion and it's all just a video game. It could all have been prevented if only he'd taken his bucket with him. I did have my bucket. Perhaps he didn't even realize he'd forgotten his bucket at home in the first place. How cruel the world could what be, Mariella <laughs> thought. And she hugged her uh, own nothing. Winter. Nothing happened. But of course, absolutely happened. nothing happened. There were a myriad of confusing problems she would soon have to confront at work, for which her bucket would provide absolute guidance and total clarity on everything. Heck yes, she thought to herself. <laughs> My life. Heck kicks yes. Ass. And she backflipped all the way to work. <laughs> she backflipped all the way to work. All right. I'm trying to think if there's any other endings I've gotten without the bucket now. Just a step through this door, Stanley thought to himself. That's all I need. I'm still missing two of the collectibles, door, I can though. I make it through them all. A good bucket. A strong bucket. A humble bucket. A, <laughs> a humble bucket. bucket. A bucket of culture and distinction. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his I chest go and entered the this door. Way. On his nap. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him. Telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was yes. There... Never mind. The bucket was wrong. So I've done all of the ones that Stanley way. Stanley took the door on his left. And I went back. down and so the here. And detoured through the maintenance section and walked straight ahead to the opposite door. And I feel like I just did this one. You want a special ending? I just want one that I Coming haven't staircase, done so far. Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Yeah, I've already done this one. Begin the game again. Stop at the top of the top of those stairs? Stanley had never seen the office. Is that what you're talking about? Lit. Was it a sign of something? He hoped it was. Ah, the embrace of an old friend. A weathered companionship that stands the test of time. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his. This was not the correct way yeah. to the meeting. Yeah. Okay. But Stanley had. I will the go to the top of those him, stairs. Telling him that the employee. I also want the other two. Uh. Place to be. You enter, but back had out. Bucket quick. turned out to be correct. No, okay. Never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left. To go back, and so the two of them detoured through the maintenance section and walked straight ahead to the opposite door. I also got to figure out where the other collectibles are at. Come.
coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. We go in and then back out. Did I do it? <laughs> vroom vroom. <laughs> PW, are you are you are you sure? Wait, the double doors. Okay, gotcha. Vroom vroom. Vroom vroom. Stepping in. Oh! I tricked you. I fucking tricked you. <gasps> hey! hey! Yeah, baby! That's hey, what I've been let's go! For. That's what it's all about. How was your stream? What were you streaming? Alright, I gotta go back to my office now? Oh, you were playing Skyrim? Let's go! I need to do a playthrough of that. I really do. It is so deadly quiet right now. <laughs> Honestly, I might just steal that from you. Am I? Am I going to the? Uh, is this my office? Uh. You are now leaving. Where am I going? Good luck with Skyrim. I mean, I've played Skyrim before. I also waiting for like their new game to come out. Where am I going? How are you doing, Infa? You said this is like a special thing? 757. I am talking about Starfield, yeah. That's supposed to come out this year, right? 7.59? How many floors are there going to be? Launch pod? Launch? Oh no. Escape pod launch bay. Alright, alright. I can't see. I'm just going to face the door until I can see something. Um, oh, here we go. It's almost creepier with, like, the no music. Are we... Why are we touching our bucket like that? <laughs> what? No, stop. Stop. What are we doing? <laughs> Farewell to your buckets. I can't live without it. We're letting our bucket escape? Not- we're not going with it, we're letting just the bucket. Bruh. I- I fucking can't. Okay. <laughs> All right. Stanley thought to himself, Am I Where's sure my bucket? The orders stopped coming in. How is that possible? Where's They never stopped. Surely I was mistaken. My bucket! No! Is bucket really gone? I'm so sad. Oh. You let them go? Stanley came to a set well, fuck that! I wanted him to suffer with me! Left. You can do the launch pod now, too? Which way is that? It's this way. 
All right, we're gonna go launch ourselves, I guess, to be with Bucket. <sighs> Big sad, though. Why couldn't I go with him then? Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here. So he turned around and got coming to a staircase. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Time to reunite. I really hope so. Alright, we gotta be quick with it. Stepping there we go, Jesus! <laughs> All right, the dead quiet walk back because we've really upset George. All the pressure of not messing that up. Yeah, it's a really long ending too. Fuck it, I'm, I'm coming for you, don't worry. Run forward. You are now leaving. Alright, we gotta climb six floors for absolutely no reason. Why couldn't I just get in the escape pod with Bucket? I could have put him on, like, my head or something. I'm pretty sure it was big enough where I could have just held him. I don't understand. Jesus. Alright. Oh. What's happening? Thank you? Think what what did I do? I can't wait to tell this story to my co-workers, Stanley Thorpe. No clue? Alright, you're welcome. <gasps> REPLACEMENT BUCKET?! At the time, I thought everyone had gone missing. I don't want a fucking replacement bucket! And try not to Thank lose this noodles. one too, you dolt. I didn't lose the other one! What do you mean? It's an imposter, <laughs> don't trust it, we can never replace the bucket. No, me and that bucket have memories. Alright, we have to figure out where these last two collectibles are at. I have no idea where they could be. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this better than the meat? No. Hmm. Never mind. The bucket was wrong. What if? What if <laughs> there the isn't a last two of them? The meeting room. I went down that way. No, said the bucket. Don't I go went to the that meeting way. room. I went go that somewhere way. else. The cargo lift. Yes, go there. Go to the cargo lift. Man, I've, I've done all of these this way, though. But Stanley feared that any path Ugh. he walked might lead to the separation of himself and the bucket, his dearest friend. So he threw himself to his death that they might die in one another's arms. How deeply touching. Me and the bucket forever. You want the red and blue doors, I think, for one of them. For that, I can't take the bucket, though. 
When also, Stanley I think the meeting room has hints. Doors, he entered. This was not the correct way to the meeting okay. room. And because if I take the bucket for the Perhaps where like the red and blue doors, I get that thing that says uh, I get the uh, is this a bucket or not a bucket ending. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. So I'm gonna go without the bucket. Big sad, but Stanley was so bad at following directions. It's before it's incredible the doors? It wasn't five years ago. Well, hopefully I can get it without it then. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. This narrator really is a jerk. Stanley. Someone you forgot. Ooh. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Really? Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad All right. to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your Where side. Where the fuck is this collectible? Now listen carefully, this is important. <gasps> Here it is. Yeah, I couldn't get down here with the bucket. There's no way. We need one more. You'll collect the last one, and then the first number will equal the second number, and that will be it. We'll be different people by I swear, if there's really not a reward, I'm gonna be upset. We have them all. You can't go back to when you had no figler and He split bucket from us and replaced them. I know. I would have waited till the till the end if I knew. All right. I don't know. I think the stairs. Oh, thank God you are willing to listen to All me. All right. We're gonna we're gonna start over then, so I don't have to go through an ending I've done. All of this. And I'm taking bucket done. with me. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting. It's not replacement That's bucket specific. anymore. The bucket made Stanley Let's fucking want to be go. a better man and a better co-worker. <laughs> made Stanley want to be a better man. He would All right. Both of those things. Stanley clutched the bottom of stairs. To his chest okay. And entered the door on his left. We're gonna go look. Oh, it does mark them off. Stairs. Something to do with the stairs. All right, all right. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Oh, <gasps> here it is! And there it is. The last. Let's go. Let's fucking Sing go. Us, man, Stanley, this is a real accomplishment. This is doing something just for the sake of doing it. Where so many people expect to be rewarded for the most trivial achievements, you've insisted yes. that a job well done is its own reward. No, I give me a reward. I'm proud of you for collecting them all. Is that my that achievement like that you tell me you're I'm proud, proud of, of me? That. So, instead I'll just say it's done. We're all done here. Oh. And now we can go to whatever the hell you were doing before Lame you reward. Such figurines. That's it? No way. Proud of you for Thank you, Infa. Thank you. I'm going back to the meeting room. Thank you for the head pats. This isn't the meeting room. I think the meeting room door is closed. It is. Listen here, game. Listen here! <laughs> There's- Oh, oh what's happening? But I have to put a pause on things. It's just- It's those figurines. <gasps> those figlers. I haven't Those stopped figlies. thinking about them since you nabbed every last one. Let's go. Isn't just the most intrinsically fulfilling moment yes. of your entire Best life. Best moment of my life. Didn't it fill you to the brim with inner richness? Yes. Yes, I know we're supposed to be telling a story, but won't you please indulge me with one more trip back to the memory zone? <gasps> yes. I would love nothing more than to revisit the figurines. Yes. Just one more time. Now remembering when Stanley found the collectibles. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, it's downstairs. Here's where it all began. This is where it all began. The first collectible. 
Back then, we had no idea of how many of them we'd find. <laughs> sure, it's six right there on the screen, but how could we know for certain? Oh, um, I still don't like how creepy this never is. Be like that again, Stanley. Oh, seven. Seven. And then there's one in the bathroom. And here was a second stand the reef. Yeah. You found this one all on your own. I did. Just by poking around in the boss's bathroom. You did that, Stanley. I'll be honest. Back then I had <laughs> Seven. no faith in you to find madness. any of them, let alone six. But you continue to surprise me in all sorts of mundane, unremarkable ways. Unremarkable ways? That's kind of mean. I think Mac okay, broke the game. Do a little quiz. No, definitely Which not. Which of these rooms was the room you found your third mini stand? Can you this remember? Way. Yeah, definitely this way. No, no, no. The warehouse was the fourth place you found a oh. thing, Andy. Not the third. I can't well, go I back. Guess perhaps I shouldn't be surprised. Memories like these are so precious and so cherished that they all just sort of blend together, don't they? You know what? If the warehouse feels like the third place you it found, it does a feel like the third place. Then who am I to go making judgments? Oh. Let's see. What came next? Oh yes, we found a figly in this pink room. Oh well, pink I can't room. actually say I remember being in this room. What? But it's here in the memory zone, so it must have happened. I that definitely did not happen. This was the fifth mini stand, and this one was really something special. It was by the red and blue doors. I remember yeah. it so clearly. In fact, because this one is particularly special to me, I made a little video to commemorate <gasps> the occasion. Okay. Enjoy. God, this is so good. This is so fucking good. You found it near the red and blue doors. <laughs> no. <sighs> Takes you back, doesn't it? I spent a lot of time making that video, but it was the unregistered hybrid can't water. Did it really have that? I missed it. Oh my god. Oh, here's this and one. And then Stanley, then we came to the last collectible. Yeah. The final figurine. Right here, under the stairs. Yeah. This memory is the most distinct and clear in my mind. Perhaps because it was the one that happened more recently than all the others. Who can truly say how the mind works? All oh. I know is that this is the moment where you picked up a figly and I thought to myself, yes, that's all <laughs> of them. They're all collected. It was a moment unlike any other, except for the other moments picking up figurines, which it was exactly like. Oh, okay. Oh, I can go this way now. There we go. Oh, you are in the present. Okay. And then Ooh, there was that's no trippy. Because we've caught up to the present moment. Nothing left to do but move onward into the future. Goodbye, memory zone. Aww. Um, no? No, no, no <gasps> I'm not done. I'm not ready to move on. Stop the loading screen. Isn't there some way we can stay here, keep enjoying these figurines? Let's oh, just go it's the, backwards. It's the plant. We'll do the memory zone again from let's the opposite do it. direction. Yeah, See let's do feels. it. Okay, yes, that spot under the stairs. I remember this. <laughs> I must say, of all the figurines we looked at, in thirteen. Our tour of oh my God! It just keeps going this up. One is the most distinct and clear in my mind. Let's keep going. I want more. All right. You can't get enough of them now. And here's where I made that video. Don't you remember the? I video do remember the video. Talk about re. Oh. <laughs> Yes, I love that video. <laughs> I was not expecting that. <laughs> Still don't 
remember the pink room, Stanley. Still no nope. memory of this one. It was not def Ooh, it definitely was not in the pink room. But whatever. These really were a treat to hunt down. You know, if there had been any kind of reward for finding all of these, it really would have muted the intrinsic joy of collecting them. I'm very glad we resisted the temptation. Next one. <laughs> oh, we didn't even walk this way. Oh, I guess I can't. I guess it was just a choice I had to make. This was our second figly. Don't you remember? I yes, do. I remember it too. The past is truly a wonderful thing. Why does anyone ever choose to leave it? Keep going. This <gasps> is it. Oh. The very first one we found yep. in the exhibit where I introduced you to the figlerines. Oh, I want more memories, Stanley. I want to keep going. What else is there? What came before this? That was it. Look, it's the terrible new oh. hunter that we were originally sold on. Oh, we're going back, back, back. But time does put a rosy filter on everything. In fact, I dare say I'm actually quite fond of it now. Look how much. Oh, yes. The two doors. Who could have forgotten that? A classic memory, this one. Memories. <laughs> oh, we're back at the and very beginning. Everything else. There was your office. Oh. Is there anything else? Was there something that came before your office? Uh, There's something I feel I can remember. My I can apartment? Remember. I can remember. When we first met Bucket? Yes, I'm remembering something oh? now. I remember before this whole story got started. Back then, I was, I was different. You were different. I used to make big decisions. I was passionate. I was skeptical. I weighed each decision with profound thoughtfulness. And then somewhere along the way, I stopped making decisions. I became lazy, and I came up with, well, came up with a character named Stanley to do my thinking for what? me. He would make the decisions. He would decide which way to go. I would cheer him on as he collected figurines for no reason. <laughs> Why did I invent Stanley? Was I lonely? I'm invented? Perhaps that's it. Perhaps I needed to imagine I had companionship. And Stanley really did make for a wonderful companion, even if he was a fiction. What? But uh, I suppose it's grown old. I, I want to think for myself again. Okay. I want to go back to how it used to be. Yes. I can be on my own again. I love the one I finger punching it. on the keyboard. I'll be stronger this time. <laughs> I'll take care of myself. I don't need Stanley anymore. Good for oh, you, George. He truly was so much fun to play with. You know what? Stanley the is the mayor. <gasps> How about that's so true? Memory. Let's go back just once and give Stanley one more run of the office, okay. and then I'll retire him for good. Okay. I did enjoy telling his story so very much. Okay. Here we go. This is the story of a man named I'm Stanley. 12 and this is deep. <laughs> I feel like that's like the the All ending. His co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley that has to be to the, the ending. Perhaps not everyone is so lucky to have a bucket, but Stanley is a very lucky fellow. Very lucky indeed. Very lucky indeed. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. There is a canon ending? Oh, what is it? Reboot the game entirely? Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more. Do I need to reboot the game entirely? His office was where he'd find answers. I feel like I need to. You have to listen, right? All right. <laughs> I gotta relaunch the game. <laughs> there we go.
it is 8.58. It's not a.m., but whatever. <laughs> hang on, hang on. All right, click. Before we get started, can I just say something? Thank you for actually setting the clock both times you booted up the game. A lot of people don't take the steps seriously. They just leave the clock set at 12 and call it a day. <laughs> but you're actually taking the time to set the clock and I appreciate that. Let's go. That's how I know that you care about this experience. You're, you're paying attention. I don't even have any way of knowing if the times you're setting are correct. Tell you what, I'll make you a deal. Since you've been so co cooperative, next time you boot up the game and see the screen, just set the clock to your favorite time? My favorite time? Go ahead, pick whichever time you want, even if it's not the correct time, you've earned it. Alright, I'll let you get back to the video game now. That's another ending! Holy shit. All right, I gotta go. All of his co-workers were gone. I gotta go to the meeting room. Stanley decided to go to the. You also need to unplug the phone. Okay. Ability to carry a bucket so magnificent. Stanley checked his ego and then proceeded onward. Stanley clutched the. I don't think I needed to check my ego, but okay. Still, no one was here. I... Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. I came back to the Perhaps meeting room. His boss's office was where he'd find answers. There's nothing here. Stanley, we must move on from this broom closet simply because I have no <laughs> remaining stickers. If I, I want did, more stickers. You can guarantee we coming to a staircase. Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. What am I supposed to do then? The meeting room told me to reboot the game, but nothing happened. Hey, that's a lovely curse. I don't still don't know what that means. Hmm. You listen to everything Nero says, you get a canon ending. Okay. Office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an it's indication of any human life. Two eight four three. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, two, Stanley may have seven, broken four, down into five. an emotional dumpster oh. fire if not for the soothing presence of the bucket. Even now, two, in his seven, darkest four, of hours, five. did the bucket's warmth and guiding light pierce the dark two, clouds seven, of confusion four, and chaos? Three. It would be with him. I don't always. remember. Oh, it was two eight. And he knew two eight. The two of oh, them were that's not an eight. At this point, Stanley was so absorbed in the two tender eight, spiritual four, connection he shared with the bucket that he didn't notice the keypad behind the boss's desk. Nor in his bliss of simply being near the bucket two, eight, did he have four, any notion oh, that the God. pin number for the keypad was two eight four five. I did have it. I just typed it in but wrong. Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it that the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket guiding him? Yes. Yes. This is certainly the most logical explanation. I'm getting here. <gasps> Hello! The How you doing, Snapchat raced dude? Downward, plummeting towards an unknown fate. It would be all Stanley could do to keep himself together, if not for the bucket. Soothing him, comforting him, reassuring that in this darkest moment of uncertainty, he would be all right. The bucket is here for you, Stanley. Everything will be fine. Stanley and the bucket were. It's so funny. I was literally red, mind watching. Uh, I have a facility. highlight of my first Ace on stream, and you're in it. <laughs> And I was watching that this morning. I guess I click this. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley and the bucket both wondered to themselves. All right. The 
monitors jumped to life, and Stanley nearly dropped the bucket in shock. Everyone in the office was being videotaped, monitored like I mean, pigs. that's pretty normal. The bucket had never seen anything like this, and it very nearly burst into tears as Stanley cradled it gently, reassuring it that everything would be fine. I'm reassuring my bucket, okay. Was the bucket under the mind control facility's <laughs> influence as well? Had the bucket been told version to version of the canon ending is to, though? Oh. What kinds of things does a bucket want to do or not want to do in the first place? And the bucket is definitely under These mind control. Raced furiously in Stanley's feeble mind. Let's go. No! He screamed into the bucket. He couldn't <laughs> accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! He squeezed the bucket tighter. His one friend in the entire world. At this point, he could trust no one except for the bucket. Uh, okay. Here we go. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. So I just have to listen walking, to what he tells me eating, to do. Working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he and the bucket would dismantle the controls for good. Two best friends, Stanley and the bucket, up against the world. They high-fived in a really cool <laughs> way, and the bucket made a sassy comment about taking down the system. Do I need to hit off? Is that what I need to do? He doesn't necessarily say it. What does that say? Mind control system disabled? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I'm clicking off. Stanley in the bucket waited in blackness. All right. Was it over? It was over. Yes, they had done it. Stanley and the Bucket had defeated their greatest and darkest enemy, freed themselves from the tyrannical grip of the evil mind control machine. Freedom was now mere moments away. Excited, the two bucket. of them began to discuss the kind of life they wanted to live once they stepped through this massive door. The bucket wanted to learn to roller skate. <laughs> Stanley wanted to sneeze in every country on Earth. Wanted to Both sneeze in every country? Any movie, what a weird goal. Stop it halfway through and begin watching it in reverse from the end. True, it was a simple life they envisioned, but it was one they'd lived to- Are you waving at? One another what are you waving at? Why are you yelling at me? Where are these stairs going? What? Wait. What was happening? What? Why had the door stopped? Was Stanley and the Bucket not about to be free? Oh, no. An unbearable silence filled the room, lingering in uncertainty. Until finally the truth hit Stanley square in the face. This building did not want the Bucket to leave. Oh? Even the facility itself recognized the incredible oh calming my presence God. of the Bucket. Needed the soothing warmth of the Bucket. Or go to any lengths not to part with the Bucket. Did I just no, no, get screwed no. over by having Stanley this bucket? Can't leave this place. Not while he has such a precious bucket in his arms. Not while this building has anything to say about it. <laughs> Stanley realized he would never again leave this very room. Oh. But at least, at least he has the bucket. To be trapped eternally in darkness isn't really so bad, Stanley thought to himself. As long as I have my bucket with me, right? I'll be okay, won't no. I? No. Stanley gulped. Very soon now, he was about to find out. What does that mean? All right, we're All gonna unplug the gone. phone. What could it mean? Which Stanley I gotta figure out to go where that's at. Stanley cradled the bucket in a gentle embrace. Hey, I might need your help remembering exactly where the phone's at. Yet compassionate. And then we'll Stanley do we'll do the, the canon bucket, ending without the bucket. And entered the door on his left. The phone's on the right, right? I think it is right, but I don't remember after that. 
This was not the correct way to the meeting. It was my first but Stanley run. had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the pit. That means I went across the uh, here thing. It was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting. It was room. all the way over there then. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go okay. somewhere else. The cargo lift. Good said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. In here, said the bucket. Go into this dark room over here. Stanley once again obeyed blindly. Where's the phone at? Now pick up the. Oh, hold on. Why I did, did just you unplug, unplug the, phone? the phone. Were you trying to resist the bucket's orders? Stanley, I was joking. Obviously, the bucket isn't talking to you and telling you to do things. Buckets can't talk. It was a joke. Don't you get the joke? It's funny, Stanley. A talking <laughs> bucket. Ugh. Can't you see? Oh, oh, goodness. I must have really bungled up the delivery if you actually took me seriously. Where did I mess up the joke? Should I have paused for longer or spoken quicker? Oh, comedic timing is so difficult. I'm I upset there wasn't a moment that I could put stuff exactly in the bucket. An instructional video on comedy that one can watch to fully. Oh wait, yes there is. <gasps> Another oh, video? It's sitting right here. Let's take a look. Where? What is comedic timing? Oh my god. What is comedic timing? <laughs> How does it work? How long should it last? How can it be used to effectively silence your political <laughs> enemies? And more importantly. Can it be taught in its entirety within 90 seconds? Thankfully, the answer to all of these questions is yes. Yes. Let's dive deeper. If you've ever told a joke or made someone laugh, I've never done in that. all likelihood, you did it while standing 50 to 80 centimeters from them in a Definitely room of not. no more than 76 degrees Fahrenheit with one of your arms raised straight upward oh, oh, at a 15 degree <laughs> angle from your body. These are the optimal conditions for good what? comedic timing. To begin the joke, start by stating and spelling your name. Mac. Next, provide a M -A brief synopsis of the joke, including oh. the specific times at which the recipient <laughs> of the joke will laugh, <laughs> and then spell out your name a second time. With these steps complete, it's time to begin the humor. The humor. Speak the entire joke in no more than 18 seconds. Holy and shit. no less than 13 and a half. Pausing only for bathroom breaks when necessary. <laughs> when the joke has concluded, it is customary to inform your listener that the joke is over by declaring in your loudest possible voice, I'm Dunny with the funny. Let's Why does that sound like something I'm Bonnie Dunny would say? Now. Bonnie, I hope you're fucking here. Yeah. I'm Dunny with the this funny. This saying is a perfect example of expectations management which is the cornerstone of good comedy. Finally, it's time to hand out surveys. Collecting hard <laughs> data from your audience on how rapt they were throughout it's the practically joke funny. is the only way to grow <laughs> or learn video. as a comedian. An effective survey should be no less than 10 pages long Holy and shit. should include the same question reprinted several times. Just to ensure the survey taker is actually paying attention and not simply filling in answers at random. And that's all there is. With these strategies at your disposal, you'll have audiences doubled over in oh, laughter God. and even tripled over in laughter in no time at all. Just remember to let them stop laughing at some point, you gut-busting little scam. <laughs> After all, with each of us needed on the front lines of the war to fight the dog-legged <laughs> who threaten our <laughs> very existence and to very likely die in a hailstorm of bullets and mandibles. All of us must be prepared to give our lives. I'm to sorry. The what courts, are we doing just here? Just as our children must do after us <laughs> and their children after them. Godspeed and may Earth reign supreme. Oh. Oh, that was a lot. Hey, goodness, this video is a little outdated, isn't it? Well, I, no matter. I it lost me a little bit there at the end. The fundamentals of proper comedic timing are still as relevant today as they were back then. 
So with that uh -huh. in mind, I believe the only way forward is for us to return to the two doors and walk through all of this again, so I can try telling my story with more appropriate comedic delivery. Let's Come do along. it. Let's head back. Let's do it. Let's hear the timing. I can feel it. This time, I'm really going to nail the. Oh, delivery. I got gates. You'll be in stitches. A talking bucket, you'll say? How ridiculous! <laughs> How absurd! What a hilarious concept! The king of comedy. That's uh -huh. what you'll call me. Thank goodness we had the instructional video. Otherwise, who knows where we'd be right now? Well, I wouldn't be the king of comedy. That's for sure. The bucket spoke to Stanley. Hmm. The bucket spoke. The bucket spoke. <laughs> Trying oh, different voices. Fly. No need to overthink things. Where am I going back to? Like all the way back? I guess so. Here we go. You ready? <clears throat> yep. When Stanley and the bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. Should I go through the right one, though? No, 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 no. Oh. You were supposed to go through the door on the right, leading back to the phone. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you not even look at the instructional video? I'm sorry. I think this is all covered very clearly. There's no way I can make the comedic timing work now. It's done. The joke is completely done and over. It's all <laughs> I'm sorry. Fault, Stanley. I fucked I'm up. I'm going to be ridiculed in the community of other joke writers. I'm going to be shamed at every one of our meetings <laughs> from now on. All because you couldn't watch a simple video and take a hint. Are you proud How could you? I know. Oh, I'm sorry. He could just let me go back. Here we go. All right. <clears throat> there we go. When Stanley and the bucket came to a set of two open we doors, we fixed it. We're fine. Entered the door on the left. Yep. Uh oh. This is different. Uh. Well, uh, we're back at the phone already. No, no, no. What's going on? There were supposed to be several rooms leading up to this. There was supposed to be a build-up to this point. A dramatic display of remarkable comedic wit which culminates in this scene with the phone. But now the timing's completely off. The joke will never land. Well, not the way it was meant to. And it's all my fault. I must have forgotten that the phone room comes immediately after the two doors room. What an egregious you mistake. Up, George. I've made a fool of myself. I don't deserve the title of king of comedy. I'm nothing. I'm not even the lowliest joke telling well, Jesus. World. I think. I think I need to go back and rewatch that instructional video again. Again? Yes, surely that will help me improve my. Is it going to be fast forwarded? Oh. Stanley, you love the bucket so much, it's like you. <clears throat> it's as though all of What the fuck is this? Pale in comparison. Yes. Well, let me try that again, Stanley. I heard that you are pale with shame over how unabashedly in love with a bucket you are. The, this is the yeah. ending? It, it is a delivery. Pale oh, shit. Shame. Pale All right. Pale. pale. What's another word to describe a bucket? Stanley, this bucket is so mental. I think I saw it playing guitar. Honestly, I really like this game. I didn't think I was gonna like it that much. I'm typically not someone who enjoys like multiple ending games like this. Because sometimes they can be frustrating to like try to find all the shit. But that was fun. With Unity surprising? Should we do the the canon ending without the bucket then? Is that how we should end it? And more about the writing? We'll do, we'll do the canon ending without the All bucket. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? And that's Stanley where we'll end it at. To the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Because I do want to see it. When Stanley came to a set of run. two open doors, he entered the door on his left. There isn't also an infinite hole ending? 
I don't know if I want that. Single person here either. I don't know if I can handle that. Wave of disbelief. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. It's two eight four five. I'm gonna remember this time. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover Two, not an indication eight, of any human life. Four, five. Shocked, um, Stanley was in Let's such go. a rush to get through the story as quickly <laughs> as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. You talk the entire but time. Anxiety isn't healthy, so he relaxed. George, you never shut up. Some calming new age oh music. my God! There's no skipping it. There's no rushing through it. Thanks, George. This is very Being calming. And rejuvenated, Stanley calmly <laughs> walked forward into the opened passageway. They have thought of everything. They really have. Oh! I think me listening to the bucket on the last one straight ahead through the large was the canon ending for like for like the ultra deluxe. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? The lights rose on an enormous room packed with because the bucket screens. like ruled everything. What at that horrible point. secret did this place hold? <gasps> Shads, hello. Did he have the strength to find out? Maybe that's my theory. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. That's how it would and Stanley, one of them, You're so tired? monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. That's not good. This mind control facility, Mac, what's up? it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? I'm trying to that escape the, uh, had been manipulated to accept it blindly? <laughs> The office, apparently. No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in this, someone else's control? This is control? me. <laughs> Leaving the office to thinkable. Was it, <laughs> was it even possible? Had he truly spent his I had a music theory exam, French listening and speaking exam, and volleyball practice? That sounds fucking terrible. But here was the proof. The heart that of the operation. That sounds absolutely Controls terrible. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy, or sad, or content. Walking, eating, I, uh, walking, I had a monitored monitored college music class. I don't know what the exact name of it was. I don't remember. And the reality of his past. And they played the music all the fucking Stand time, and I always went right after work. Never again. I fell asleep, like, all the fucking time in that class. Who the fuck was playing me in the game? I was here, but I fucking wasn't- I wasn't fucking listening? What? What, Bonnie? Funny, we did find you in the and game. A rising chill of Dunny with the funny. <laughs> is it over? I hope you know what I'm talking about. This is literally yes. Bonnie. You'll you'll won. just have to he go back and watch the it. Machine. Unshackled himself from someone the game said something command. and I was like, I swear Freedom to God, Bonnie had to have wrote, like away. written this part. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened. Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machines? And grooms? tomorrow? What other mysteries did this strange uh -oh. building hold? But as is it not going to open? Into the chamber, he realized none is of the last day of the semester? It was not not <laughs> no. Thank you for the follow, Tom. For happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone. <gasps> Wait, no, it's opening what more. Go, what to do? Is this the Stanley Parable? It is. It's the Ultra Whatever Deluxe version. Lives, we are doing our his. last ending right now. And that was all he needed to know. Are we it was escaping? perhaps the only thing worth okay. knowing. Keep going. Stanley stepped through the open door. Let's go. Stanley oh. felt the cool breeze upon his skin. 
the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley <gasps> was happy. Let's go. I'm happy just because I walked outside. Does touching grass mean happy? Hey, I got the achievement beat the game. We fucking beat the game. All right, I do think I'm stopping there. I I think I've done legit most of the endings. Mac finally touched grass. I did finally touch grass. And it made me happy, believe that or not. Well, I mean, he has been stuck in an office, true. True, with our, but we had a bucket. How can you not be happy if you have a bucket? <laughs> okay, wow. I'm sorry, Shads. You showed up right at the end. It's okay. There'll be another stream. Do not worry. Also, also, we are like down to like three more streams with this model until the new one's out, which is fucking insane to me. I still can't believe it. I'm so fucking excited. No more streams ever? No, plenty of more streams. Uh, my next stream is going to be on Friday. We're playing uh, Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Um, and then on Saturday, we're doing a Siege stream. Yeah. Oh, also, yes, also, make sure you're in the Discord. We're doing Anime Night tomorrow. Um, at 7 p.m. Central, we're continuing Spy Family. I'm pretty sure that's what's going to win this week. If it's not already, like, a guaranteed thing. But yeah, I really like the Stanley Parable. Also, shout out to Bonnie. Bonnie bought this game for me on Steam. She definitely did not have to. <laughs> but I really appreciate it. Uh, and we all enjoyed it. I'll try to be there. I'd appreciate it. Um, but yeah, if you've made it this far, either watching me live or watching this VOD or watching this on YouTube, you should follow me on Twitch. Uh, we have a good time. I buy Mac all the games. You have to stop buying me games. You need to make a deal with me that until I finish all of them, which won't happen, <laughs> you cannot buy me anymore. Um, but yeah, make sure you follow, hit, hit the follow button. I really appreciate it. Um, also, follow me on TikTok and follow me on YouTube. I post daily to both of those. I also have a Twitter and an Instagram that my schedule goes up to. Uh, stick around. We're going to raid someone in just a second. But thank you guys so much for being here, for chatting with me. I really appreciate it. Uh, and I will see you guys tomorrow for Anime Night. Bye!